Hello everyone and welcome to our commentary long play adventure in Better Minecraft. We recently built up our fantasy inspired starter cottage and today we're going to be working towards getting a solid food source in place, finding some more iron and making some crop fields and a windmill to store all of our food. If you're excited for another modded adventure today, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe so you don't miss these uploads and let's get exploring shall we? Now, as far as what we're going to do first, I want to figure out where we're going to place said windmill and our crop fields. And I was kind of thinking about it when I was looking at our area, and I feel like this spot right here would be the perfect spot to place a windmill. And then we can kind of just like create some tiered crop fields around that. I think that would be really nice. We'll have to remove some of the like dirt and some of the gravel, do some terraforming, remove some of this bamboo and the trees and such to make the crop fields. But I think this spot right in here is gonna be perfect. So what I want to do firstly is I want to quickly just like grab some of these blocks and flatten this out really quickly. And then we'll use some of these to kind of create a very rough outline. We're going to be using different blocks. A lot of the color palette that we're going for today is going to be very similar to what our starter house is. So we're going to use this brownish Sakura wood. We're going to be using lots of spruce. We're going to use the brick and the granite. And we're also going to be mixing in some oak. And oak is the one wood type that I have not collected a bunch of yet because, I mean, we, we live in the Sakura forest, so there's lots of them around in comparison to other tree types. But I think we'll be able to go adventuring and find some oak. I, I don't know where. I'm assuming this forest would have some just because it's called a normal forest. It's not called like birch forest or dark oak forest or anything like that. So we'll probably need to go somewhere over here. The other thing I want to do today is get our enchanting table that we recently found. I want more bookshelves to go around it. And I kind of noticed on the map, there's some like structures out here. And I kind of want to go exploring and check those out. There's also this giant structure, which in creative mode, when I was looking at this seed, I already know this is a giant like skeleton stray village. So like weakness arrows will be flying all every which way at me if I go in there before I have my own bow. So that's like a later uh, exploration project. But today I just thought that maybe as we're looking for some of our different uh, wood types and blocks, we're gonna go check this little guy out and this one. And there was also this one over on this side. It might not show up. Oh, here it is. I also wanna go check this out. So there's kind of three little structures we can adventure to. Now, some of them are a decent ways away for us. So we will be traveling and going some distances. But what's super cool, if I right click on my map, there's these options and I can create a waypoint, a temporary waypoint. I can teleport. I have not tried this yet. I don't know if this will work, but it says I could teleport here, which is kind of cool, but I also feel like takes away from the exploration experience of like seeing what else is in between here on the way and it kind of prevents us from being able to like find some nice blocks so we're just probably gonna get some uh waystones set up and since this is a forest we'll be able to collect all of our oak wood here so i'm gonna right click let's create a temporary waypoint here so that's called x let's create another one right here temporary so a different color x and let's get a third temporary waypoint so these are our three adventures for the day and hopefully these structures are going to give us some bookshelves i'm hoping because i'd love to just get our enchanting table a little bit closer to level 30 so that's kind of the plan but i want to firstly kind of get this a little bit cleared out have the outline of where we're going to be building kind of set up so that's kind of our plans for today uh, my tools are very much so about to die, so we will need to collect more iron, and at some point I do need to go into the mines and get diamonds, but I'm just a little bit nervous for that because I really don't want to uh, get hurt. So I'm, I'm a little nervous about just dealing with the mobs and things, and my pickaxe is literally about to break. Yep, okay, there it is. There it is. 
and is honestly getting a little bit like it's getting to be night time so we're gonna go back into our little house but i think yeah that's kind of the plan that i have for today if we are able to i would also like to kind of uh create some more lit up space around our area so just more torches i think is going to be helpful so maybe while it's getting darker we start doing that now and like i'm pretty sure in modded there's some much cuter versions of uh just lighting up a base but for now this is my idea to just get the basic lighting down make it a little bit safer close to my base and hopefully you know we won't uh, have as many creatures spawning around our area that's the hope i i really hope <laughs> Uh, at least I can see them on the map, though, if I'm, like, noticing there's, like, extra mobs, you know? But this is my idea. I like that I can see how far away these points are. So this is, like, 700 blocks. That's around 700 blocks and around 600. So I like that in this modded Minecraft, which I'm playing in version 120.1, .1, if people were curious, which... I also put that in the description, so for the seed, you know, I'm playing in 120 with the seed and all of that. But I just figured that um, if people aren't checking the description and want to know, you know, now you know. Because apparently there's different mods created and like working with different versions, which makes sense. So if anyone was wondering, that is the plan. The other thing I'll need to do at some point is like I want to make an iron farm. But I don't think I'm anywhere near villagers, which is a problem because that means we're going to be having to like really, uh, you know, explore to find some. And that's always a little bit, you know, nerve wracking to have to move lots of villagers even farther away. Like moving them in general is annoying and difficult. And if I have to do that and travel even farther, like... I'm, I'm not looking forward to that. Also, I love how on the map it starts to light up where I've actually lit things up. I think that's like super cool and very, very helpful. Cause then I can kind of know if there's any of these darker spots that I've like missed. So I really like that, but there's some, some bad guys spawning around. So we're gonna go in here. Now, I did also move all of my chests that were kind of just like hanging outside here in some off-camera time. So I moved this guy in here and then we've just started placing some different materials and things in our different chests. But this is where we have our food. And look, at I got an apricot from cutting down a tree, which I thought was super cute. But we've got some bass and some carrots. And I'm going to leave the hay bales alone just because... I want to use these for part of our food source project for today because if you know me, in most of my worlds, I make one of those cow crushers because not only does it give me a bunch of steak, but I also get a bunch of leather. And if I have leather, then I can create item frames and we can get more bookshelves. So that is the other thing that I want to uh, kind of work on today. So... Let's start by grabbing some blocks. Now, I think I'm just going to grab some chests. So we'll do a double chest to start and we'll bring a crafting table with us. Now, my idea is we'll just kind of bring over some blocks ahead of time that we're going to be building with. And I know I'm going to build with spruce. So we'll bring the spruce over. And we'll bring just all the variants with us. And I don't have any other types that I'd really want to use. We'll bring over some of these leaves. And as far as modded blocks, I put the modded wood types over here. So we're going to bring the Sakura wood. And there we go. And I don't think I put anything else over here. We'll bring the brick because we're going to use lots of brick with our project for today. And for now, I think that's good. Um, we have our lapis and our very interesting vanishing loyalty book, which I could put on some things because sharpness on a tool would be nice. But we've got our, our lapis. So, I mean, technically we could do some enchanting. Oh, vein mining. Oh, I forgot. There's like totally... Wait. <gasps> no. 
Wait, I can re-roll these? Hello? Vein mining? Oh, so I can re-roll it if I spend XP. Interesting. Okay, so vein mining. I'm gonna need to, like, learn about all of these different enchantments. Breaks matching connected blocks when mining. Oh, I totally forgot about these books. Oh my goodness, hang on. Enchanted books. Oh gosh, there's so many. Okay, so vein mining, neurotoxin, wow, okay. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, curse of transfers heat from you to your enemies when attacking, interesting. Why is that a bad thing? Live catch, soul stealing, oh my goodness, stasis, comb cutter. Mines, combs, hives, nests, and whack blocks faster. Oh, so this would be an advancement, or not advancement, enchantment for the bumble zone with all the bees. Potent poison, oh my goodness. Icebreaker increases the damage from attacking enemies. Wait, there's enemies frozen in ice? Hello? Interesting. Steals heat. Wow, backstabbing amplifies damage when striking a target from behind interesting okay this is gonna be very So backpack, I think we have to start with a normal backpack. It's literally just six. So we need three more leathers and we can make a backpack. Now someone mentioned in the comments that I need to have a void backpack going into the bumble zone. So whichever one has like the largest amount of space, I'm guessing it's this endless one. Oh, we need the dragon head, interesting. But I, I want to say, you know, with some of these, we just, uh, wow, these are netherite ingots. Ooh, these look fancy. But whichever one gives me the most amount, I think is probably going to be the best. But this is just so interesting. Oh my, you need the withered backpack to become the endless one. Oh, so you kind of like slowly step it up a little bit. Interesting. Okay. Wait, so this is a frayed backpack. Is that just more space? What's the difference between these different ones? Interesting. A baby backpack? Oh, it's so cute, a baby backpack. Okay. Well, honestly, maybe we bring the leather with us and we bring some extra chests. Because I think if we can get some uh, backpacks, you know, that would just be great. But let's just quickly drop off all of the blocks that we have so far over where we're going to be building and i'm just going to build the base shape with some of our spruce just because we have mostly that and let's see here so we'll take spruce i also need to like fill this in more but we have to use our wood pickaxes i should just make a stone pickaxe again let's let's do that real quick shall we me just not even thinking to make a little bit better gear. Okay. Go like so. I go like so. And let's grab two of these. And... Well, I guess I'm out of uh, sticks. So we go like so. Go like so. And let's go like so. Alright, so now we grab these. And then we just go back to mining. We're first going to mine out the area, and then we're going to focus on the adventure. I might go get some dirt. I don't know how much dirt I even have left. That's probably another thing I need to just go and collect really quickly, just so that we have enough material to kind of like start the outline. So let's go get some dirt, because I'd rather have dirt here. 
But I do want to collect all this calcite because the calcite is one of the main building blocks for the color palette that we're going for in this area. So I do want to make sure I have enough of the calcite. I do like that I have calcite just easily accessible here. And I'm not covering over, I am covering over some calcite, okay. But I feel good about having this. Okay, so we're just kind of grabbing these guys. Yep, yep. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to cover over this area so that it's even with this again. So I think I had a shovel. We might have to make another one. But let's just go off quickly to a different area and collect some dirt. We'll just trim some off the top over here. What's also gonna be fun about exploring those three structures that I marked is we're also going to just get to find new flowers, new critters, like all new modded things along the way, which I think I'm probably most excited for that because the beginnings of a new Minecraft world are always so much fun to me, but having this one be modded is just more adventures, more interesting things to discover, so I'm excited. Okay, we've got some from this area. And I also might find just like random patches of where I would find some more like iron and things. Also, I feel like one of these adventures needs to go into like caves and stuff. But that sounds a little scary. Oh, there it goes. There's my shovel. Also, I do want to ask you guys. So usually in my long plays that I've just been making, I've made them more like relaxing long plays where we're focused on just like the building and chatting. But this is more of an adventure, right? We're doing more of a commentary long play adventure. And some of adventuring is is kind of chaotic and not always the the most cozy you know sometimes we we come across big structures you know and we want to go explore them but usually i haven't done a lot of like more adventuring caving like spooky kind of like chaotic things in my long plays but i feel like since this is more of like we're exploring we're adventuring that for a long play like this format going and exploring those places would be kind of fun together, right? Because then you actually see the entire process of like me being in there the entire time. There's no like edited cuts of what my experience is like in some of those areas. But I do just want to ask you guys for your feedback. So if you can comment and let me know your thoughts on if you think you prefer to keep these more like chill exploring or if you do like the idea of getting to see me kind of like in these long plays and on our adventures just take on whatever structures and mobs we kind of come across so please let me know uh if you guys have preferences for either honestly both sound kind of fun to me um obviously you may be seeing me struggle with uh taking on structures would maybe be more fun for you and more just like getting me getting called out by myself and my my struggles <laughs> um but yeah i was just curious so let me know what you guys think about that i feel like in my mind i'm inclined to go exploring them with these long plays i think that would be more fun because that's more of an adventuring aspect and that's what i want these to be is we're adventuring together exploring new things if you're playing and modded alongside me then like you kind of know what to look out for. You can remember, oh yeah, Red went into that one structure and she definitely wasn't prepared. So now you know how to be prepared. So I was like, what's that noise? So that's uh, kind of my like thoughts on it. But let me know what you actually think. Hi, dude. Oh. You were one hit. I mean, you were like on fire a second ago, so that would check out. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you'd prefer for these long plays. Because in my mind, I'm planning to adventure and explore these structures and builds. But if you guys think otherwise, like, let me know. That's more so what I'm kind of thinking. Because I think I definitely want to hear your feedback. And if there's something you guys feel strongly about, like, obviously, I want to, like, pay mind to that. But I think it would be kind of fun and chaotic to explore <laughs> some of the modded areas as well. All right, we've almost got these done. Let's just put back some torches. That is not a torch. That is doit. We don't need to put doit. 
Okay. Cool. So now we've got this spot kind of uh, lit up a little bit. Let's go up the hill some. Get some of these guys. Oh, hi, cow. Actually, cow, I need you. I'm very sorry. Actually, no, I'm not going to kill you. I was just going to, like, give him a little tap. Oh, here's a cave. Oh. Ooh, I like how it echoes. That's kind of fun. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, you kidding me? You little stinker. That was not a bad explosion, not gonna lie. That was, that was nothing. I'm kind of like running away from the hillside. I can't believe he just was like, oh, she's going in there. Let me just follow her. My heart skipped a beat, not gonna lie. I don't know if when you guys saw that, your heart skipped a beat, but my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> uh, whew, okay, my heart, it's fine. We're fine, everything's fine. I'm also gonna be saving seeds, but let's go to bed. <laughs> let's, let's sleep before another creeper comes for my life. Not what I want, not what I wanted. Oh, hey, but there's a zombie villager. Let's, let's make a boat. I do want to start trying to collect some zombie villagers because I don't really have an easy way to get villagers, like I was saying. So can I make a boat with these? I feel like I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, I can't. Why? Why you gotta do this to me? We've got maple. We're good. We're good. We're good. What's gonna say? Uh, if I can't make a boat, this will be problematic. Okay, let's, uh, oh, I think that villager, hang on, is that villager above ground? No, they're underground. But, I mean, that's not too far away. Like, we could go get them. Let's, okay, they're underground so I can sleep. Let's first sleep, starting there. It looks like they're underground, so I'm just going to hope that they're still underground. And then we've got some carrots. That's not going to get us too far, but I do want to see if I can get this villager. Right, it wasn't like crawling around up here. It's underground. Okay. Maybe I should have made a shovel. Hello? Hello? It's a little scary in here. Yes, there he is, okay. Please stay, Mr. Villager. This is gonna be my makeshift cave entrance. Everything's fine. Okay, so we've got the boat. Hi, buddy, you wanna come follow me? Yeah, yes. Okay, literally, if I can just start collecting... Hey, no, wait. Go in there. You goon? You goon? Hello? Do they not go in boats? Um, is this not a thing? Oh, no. Ah, I pressed pre-cam. Do you not go in boats? Hello? Bruh. Okay, there we go. Will you pick up a block? Will you pick up Zappoli? I'm like really paranoid there's gonna be like something coming for me. Just a little bit nervous. Can I pick up iron? Okay. Sometimes I get afraid that I'm gonna like accidentally pick up a resource with the wrong block, even though I know I can get iron with stone. I just get paranoid. You ever get like that? Okay, well this is good. Uh, we've got our first zombie villager. He's a cook, he's a novice. I wonder if he's gonna keep his profession. Yay, okay. Well, thank you for being you, being a zombie. I appreciate that. Now, I'm just gonna quickly light this up. Um, um, could be some spooky spooks. Okay, no spooky spooks this way. There's a spooky spook that way though. But spooky spook guy can't get to me, so haha. -ha. Okay. I just think that having a few lights around would be nice, so I wanted to make sure we got some of those. And I don't want to, like, fall down these holes, so I'm just gonna, like, cover this up for now. 
Okay, feeling good. Now we've got some iron. Oh, there's more iron. I should collect that. I'm running solo on iron, so part of today's adventures with us like building as well is looking for iron. Just because I am so low on iron, I'm constantly running out of it. And this villager gets us one step closer to having an iron farm, which will be amazing. So we just need one more at least. And if we can find an easier way to breed them, then we'll be in a good spot. But otherwise, you know, we're, we're doing the whole nine yards. We're doing the whole thing. Okay. Yay. Now let's just put that there. Actually, let's use a different block. That way I can remember like this is actually our cave entrance. I feel like that's probably the way to do it. And then let me just make some more torches. So I remember. Yay, okay. Yay, we've got a villager and they should just always stay there. I'm hoping just because we've got them in the boat. I'm not exactly sure how modded works if they'll disappear. But I'm, I'm very happy we've at least got the one. Okay, so we've got our smokers, so we're good to go there. Now, there's nothing else that I need here. We've got some iron that I've been like collecting in between the calcite veins. So we're gonna get more of that. So we can get another ax. An iron plaque, interesting. Very interesting. It's always so interesting, the different things that just like pop up as like options to create. Let's make two of you. We'll make an ax. Ooh, we can make a knife. Oh, this is for like farmer's delight and like making all sorts of foods. But I feel like having a sword is probably gonna be good. Actually, what am I saying? Let's make a shield. <laughs> Let's be safe. I think I think the shield just goes like so. Oh no. Oh no, hang on. Can I not make a shield? Me spelling shield. Oh, I, I always position these wrong. Literally every time. Wait, I can choose different shields? Interesting. Okay, well we've got a shield. That is, that is what I care about. And we'll make a, a shovel as well. We'll make a little spoon. I feel like this should be good, right? We've got building blocks. We've got extras on hand. We've got a shield. We've got a little bit of food. I need more food though. Um, <laughs> kind of difficult when I don't have a lot of options. a bunch of oak and like I was saying over here there's a bunch of just regular forest so we're gonna go there first to collect a bunch of the oak so that is our main goal first so let's uh let's go adventuring I think I am gonna bring my bed with me just because if it gets dark while we're adventuring I'd rather not have to like be running around places so this one is a five this one is seven and this one is seven ten but i did want some of this forest so we're gonna head to this guy because as long as i get some oak saplings we'll be in good hands and we do have a bunch of cobblestone for if we do need to end up making extra different uh like tools and stuff if i my you know my iron axe runs out and what's also exciting is we get to explore around, we get to look at different uh, different animals, we get to see different biomes, pick up different things. <gasps> look at, like, here's a duck. Oh my gosh, wait, the duck's on the map. Look at them. They're just, like, tall little rectangles. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. But look at all the ducks. Okay, so cute. Also, I noticed earlier, there's, like, lanterns on these mushrooms. Not all of them, but some of them. And I need lanterns. So I kind of want to go and uh, 
go take a look-see over at those. And I'm also taking these rose bushes. What's interesting is they're all the same color rose bush, but when you actually place them down, they become different colors. So I'm just gonna take a bunch of these flowers because I think they're pretty. Hey, a wandering trader. Um, yeah, that's quite the distance. Um, let me just bridge over. I feel like we're going to be bridging around anyways, so let's just try this. I think we'll eventually need something like this, so this will actually probably be like really helpful. Um, bro, you're kind of stuck down there now. I wonder what your name is, though. I like that they call them different names. Like, last time, I found one named Zelda, which is super fun, because in uh, off-camera time, just as, like, a fun game to play for me, I've been playing through uh, Breath of the Wild. I have already played through Tears of the Kingdom. I, I did play them out of order. I will admit that. And what's your name? Do you have a name? Abe. Hello, Abe. What are you selling? Oh, these fractured things? Accelerates the growth of crops within two block radius around the wearer. <gasps> these things are cool. A broken charm. I need to figure out how to make these charms. Also, look at these. Basking shark plushie, bull shark plushie, frilled shark plushie. They're so cute. <gasps> oh my gosh. There's plushies in here. So what if we make one of our builds be like a plushie museum? <gasps> oh, Abe. There's so much potential in modded. I love it. Okay. But we can't get distracted. We can collect more flowers. I literally, I need to get a backpack because I'm just collecting up all the different flowers and pretty things. Like the corn flowers, they look so pretty in this mod pack. We're in a meadow now, so we're going to get lots of pretty flowers, which is super fun. But let's hop our way up. I also need to remember that there was those mine shafts a little further towards like our spawning area. Ooh, no thank you. Ah. No thank you, no thank you, no thank you. Don't come again, leave me alone. No thank you, not interested. I don't know where you went, but I don't really care. Oh, there's iron in there, oof, that's nice. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything in these. Can I just like take these? I'm just gonna take them. I'm just gonna take some lanterns. And some chains. I want to know if there's like something around me that I should maybe be looking out for because right now I'm just seeing like some of these lit up right like there's nothing in here to really give me an indicator of if this is like sketchy if this is like a villagey spot like I don't really know what the deal is with these right I just like the fact see and look there's either hanging all over the place like that's just so great i'm gonna put some uh, more torches down as we're kind of going around just to make it safer for me as i'm taking these down and we're in a dark oak forest but maybe i try to sleep here sleep before the scaries come out which i'm glad i have this little mini map i think it's like actually super helpful to have the mini map little baby snoot just staring at me they're so cute I feel like if I like accidentally hit one, they're gonna mess me up because they've got tusks, but they're cute for the most part, right? Like they seem cute. I just won't mess with them. Part of me is curious just to like do a little snoot boop and just see how dangerous they are. But the other part of me is like, don't, don't even mess with them, Red. Like, why are you risking it? <laughs> just don't do it. Okay, let's grab our bed. I don't think anything's gonna, like, come for me in here. Let me just eat some more bread. Okay. So if we come over this direction, there's some peonies. Those look pretty. I love how the red mushroom blocks look. I think they're gorgeous. Like, they're just so pretty here. Grab some more peonies. See, I'm just so interested. I'm intrigued. Like, why are these lit up? Is there a reason for this? Because I'm very curious. 
Unless it's just trying to like light up the forest because it's so dark and I'm just literally like removing all of the light sources that they're like trying to be nice and like give to me and I'm just like, lanterns, aesthetics. <laughs> you know, I feel like that could be definitely going on right now. So we're just gonna place down some torches. Oh, look at these guys. The red mushrooms come in like groups of three. Cute. We'll definitely get you guys. Okay, and then we grab you. Oh wait, what is this? This looks like a pillager camp, but I do need a bunch of hay. Um, we might have to go look at that on our way. Just saying. Okay. So let's take a look at where we're at. So we need to go that way. I'm very curious what this is though. If I free cam this, watch me just get sniped from the back and like yeeted off the edge back there. I feel like this is just pillagers. This is my theory. It's just gonna be pillagers. Oh, but there's a chest. This is tempting. I know for a fact there's gonna be some baddies there though. Oh, it's tempting though. But honestly, we kind of could just go straight to this camp. That's where the camp is. Let's go straight to this camp. We can stop by this little hole spot and then we'll make our way over. Cause this looks like a crater of some kind. So let's, let's do it. We're just gonna go that direction. We'll make our way slowly, little by little. This is very precarious. Don't try this at home guys. I feel like I'm a rock climber or something in Minecraft. Imagine if there was like a mod that you could like rock climb in the game. That would be kind of neat. I'm I'm pretty much just like bracing myself for the fact that there's going to be pillagers. I'm not gonna put my shield up though. I need to get a mod that lowers the shield. I did that on one of my uh, theories that it just like lowers the shield position so it's not like right in your face. And that was super, super helpful. Cause I feel like the shield kind of just, I mean, obviously it makes sense. It's supposed to be in your way so that it's between you and the bad guys. But like, sometimes I just want to see, right? Um, I do need spruce. I love fast decay, literally still my favorite. Oh gosh, we're already low on the resources. Resource space, I should say, not resources. We've got resources. We're running low on space. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Is this a tree? What are you? A dead bush. I mean, that looks kind of alive to me, but you know, it is what it is. I'm like waiting for the bad guys to render in and just not be the friendliest of friends, you know? I'm just hoping that they're going to be uh, kind of easy to deal with, but I have a feeling they're not, just because I feel like that's how mod it is. But we're going on an adventure. Actually, is there a bunch of, like, cl uh, clay in here? <gasps> what are you? A seashell, oh my gosh, cute. But there is a bunch of uh, clay in here, so that's at least good. Oh, yeah. Well, honestly, okay. So, here's my thinking, right? Oh, they do have those guys. Ooh, I need to be careful. Okay. So, we're looking at this strategically, okay? This is what we do. So, there's only these two. There's some people kind of hiding over here. Right? If I sneak in from this side and kind of create a wall so that I can just open the chest and check what I want... How many Vindicator dudes are there? I say we do that. There's only one? Ooh, okay. I don't have that many, like, items. So maybe let's try this. What if I just, like, make a little spot and all of these flowers and things that I've been collecting, I leave here. And that way I'll have a backpack by the time I come back over here, right? So maybe on our map, we just mark 
um, will create a temporary waypoint, okay? So this white X is where we'll come back to for later, but that way I have enough space in my inventory to just quickly like go up to the chest and I'll, I'll leave my bed here for now. Cause then we can just like circle back to grab the bed. But for now at least, let's be sneaky. Let's go around the outside edge, but that way I can just like quickly like use my ax, collect up everything that's inside there hopefully, unless there's like a ton of stuff, you know? Dunch, dunch, dun, dun, dunch, dunch. Did you give me? <gasps> Yay, we got some leather. Okay. Now, where is this campsite? Oh, I'm, I'm still far away. Okay. I was expecting that I needed to. I'm sorry. What the heck was that? Hello? Nothing is here. Podsole? The heck? Why did I spontaneously combust? Why did I just catch on fire? <laughs> That's confusing. If anyone knows why the mod pack is doing that to me, I would much appreciate that. Okay. Now we come in from this side. I don't see anyone over in the woods on this side, so that's why I'm kind of thinking this is the safer approach. Are you ready, B? We're going to be brave. Ahaha, ah, 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 ah. And let's just have some uh, pillaring blocks ready, shall we? And now we've got some steak so that we can at least, you know, get our health up with some foods. Who are you? <gasps> Blueberries, cute. Me just getting so distracted by like everything instead of like focusing on what I need to focus on. Hello. Okay, I wish this free mod. Oh, oh, going the wrong way. Okay. Hang on, where is it? Okay. All right. I'm like trying to like think of how I'm going to approach this. I thought I just heard dudes, so that's why I'm like a little paranoid now. Okay, run in, check the thing. Run in, check the thing. Actually, should I like quickly make, let's quickly um make a hoe? Yeah. I'm gonna get hit, but it's okay. And now we run. Oh, not that way though. Run! The rain is like making this feel so much laggier. Now I know these guys will follow me for a ways, but hopefully I can just, you know, escape them. Run towards our waypoint. I'm actually really glad I put that waypoint in there because now we just head back towards where we were. And I don't know if they're going to follow me all the way. But at least we can get back to our little bed here. Be a little safer. I don't think the Vindicator will follow me. Hello, Wind. It's getting dark. Let me see if I'm getting followed still. I don't think I'm getting followed. I think they gave up on me. Which, honestly, the only ones I really care about giving up on me are the Vindicators. But I grabbed everything from the chest, so that's good. But now I feel like we're set, you know? Like, we've got the waypoint. We've got our bed. Now let me look at what we got. We've got a crossbow, an emerald. We got some gold and a name tag. So not, like, anything too crazy. I think for now, let's just leave those items here. I think that we'll just leave those in this chest and we'll bring our bed. And now we continue making our way up this hill. Ooh, hey, I did want, I love using moss carpet and I haven't found the inside of like a lush cave yet. 
So I was really hoping that we could find some and we just did. Which I've never just seen like moss carpet just out and about on its own, which is kind of interesting. I like it though, like I've been wanting to add carpets into our house, but I never really had like the supplies for it, right? Like I want to have cute decorative blocks and I didn't have any, but now we have some goodies. So that's wonderful. Okay, so now we're gonna go up the hill, get over to that one area, make sure nothing's gonna get us. I'm checking this cave for some iron just exposed. Let's make sure we have torches on our offhand. I feel like just like quickly checking in some caves. Oh, coarse dirt. Ooh, coarse dirt is good. But just like checking in some caves for like iron and things, I always want to do just because iron is very scarce for me at the moment. So we love a good, uh, a good little iron find, even if it's one piece. It's, you know, it's better than nothing. Beggars can't be choosers. We'll take more carpet though. Should probably not use my, you know, my limited iron tools to collect moss blocks though. I just want to find a moss block. If I can find moss blocks, what are you? Hello? Also, I'm really glad we have all this like horse dirt by us because then it's going to be so much easier to like make cute paths. Hot sun lichen. Oh, that's what burned me before. <gasps> Interesting. Okay. That's good to know. That I guarantee that's the stuff that I accidentally like bumped into. That makes so much more sense now. Okay, and then we can right click on these little berries. We can have some berry bushes growing around our area, which is great. I'm curious what these guys are. So they're just normal red mushrooms, but they grow different sizes. Oh, that's so cute. I feel like we could have a very cute little like mushroom garden or something and that would be adorable. Also, you go so much slower through these blueberry patches. But I feel like the blueberries will probably be a really good food source. Oh, hi cows. I'm not trying to like kill the cows by my area, but I am seven. I feel like that's enough. Okay, let's try to make a backpack. Are you as a flower i'm getting so distracted a wild flax oh it's a seed interesting and what are you carrots potatoes i need potatoes i like the wild versions they're very pretty <gasps> a cauldron should i be like afraid of this cauldron i feel like that could be like a spooky thing okay let's make a backpack so we'll come back here backpack now, this one just says six, but this one is frayed and it gives me like this whole thing. So I'm curious if it's like the size, but I kind of just want to make one of these bigger ones just because I have the chest. So we might as well. No, I'm one short. Okay. Maybe we should have made the other one. Okay. One more cow. Just one little cow friend. I see some on the mini map for this direction. Hi guys, have you seen a cow? Have you seen a cow? Any cows at all? Potatoes? There we go. Okay. Please drop one leather, my friend. I'm so sorry. Nice. Okay, we've got some leather and I do need food as well. So I am also just gonna grab these guys. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for your sacrifice. Thank you for feeding me. I appreciate it. Okay, 12 is definitely enough. So let's do this backpack. <gasps> I'm so excited for a backpack. Okay, this goes into the back trinket slot. How do I open this? Okay. So now, how do I access this? Oh. Oh my gosh, there's villagers on the map. How do I access my backpack? Hello? 
Is there a special button? Do I put this on the ground? No. How do I access this? I have the backpack, but what do I do? Look at it's a cute little backpack, but what do I do with it? <laughs> How do I access this? <laughs> um This is awkward. How do I do this? I don't Hang on. Let's look at our our controls, our keybinds. Let's see if there's like a backpack one. Let's see here. We're looking for backpacks. Inventory. Knowing me, I'm probably just gonna like go right past it. This is so funny. Okay. Those are all just random things. Mini map. Map, map, map. Vein mining, that's nice. Bumble zone. Replay mod. None of this is connected. Inventory plus HUD. Open backpack, B. Okay, I need to... Okay, we're going to set this. Let's set it to this equals sign. Okay. Equals. Oh, that's not much space. Hmm, maybe we try to get a different backpack, yeah? Okay, let's just hide away all these extras. Food might be nice to have on hand, honestly, though. I thought I'd have way more space because I have to use a chest. Let's try making this one next. With just six, okay? So we just need two more. But now we know it's the equal sign on our keyboard. But I'm very curious to see what this is because there's definitely villagers on the mini map now, which is exciting. This is a village. This was the spot. This is the place on the map, which is so great. Oh, I see bookshelves. Yay! Safe haven. What does this say? Find a tavern. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, so backpack beginnings. It's not much, but it's fine. Craft a frayed backpack to expand your inventory space. Just one row, though. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. We've got like a little... We've got Dylan the shepherd. How adorable. What are you? Verla, what are you? A weaponsmith? <gasps> oh gosh, these are nice. Ooh, we've got some foods. I will take this. I will steal your wheats. I appreciate the foods. Okay. Oh, this is so good to know that we've got this. And look at this little like entryway. <gasps> That's so cute. Is this their like well or something? Oh, well, we got a well with a lily pad. I'm curious if there's like anything down here. No, okay. Wow, this is cute, guys. There's a butcher. Oh, and there's a zombie villager underground. Look at this little place. Oh my gosh, this is actually so, so cute. Oh, candles. Sorry, I'm literally just like taking all their stuff. Candles, cute things. I'm sorry you won't have any light in here. Um... Oh, we had a lot of arrows in there too. Okay, I will be kind, okay? I know you're probably gonna have a bunch of mobs spawning in your rooms now. I will give you back some light, okay? Don't be mad at me now, okay? Don't be mad. Ooh, hello. Okay, we've got some wheat and some of that. We'll take some more chests. We'll take a bunch of wheat. I did see bookshelves, and that's honestly what I'm the most excited for. Um, I saw them, though. Oh, here it was. Let's give them a light in here. They, they have a lantern, but I want the lantern, honestly. Okay, bookshelves. Don't mind if I do. And then equals potatoes. Let's put the books in there, actually. Look at this, we're finding goodies. Yay, love it. And there's a bell in here. Let's uh, put this light in there. Okay, well that's kind of fun. I like that. I love how the birds have little like songs that they like song have song notes above them. I think that's the cutest. Okay, well we didn't find too many. There's that tower. And that seems like it's about it for this area, which is cool. There's lots of oak, so I can collect a bunch of oak. 
But I think what I'm curious for, is this gonna be lava? Oh, that's just the sun rays. <gasps> Ooh, wait. Is this a different village? Hello? <gasps> Whoa, this looks established. Um, hello? How did I not even see this? Whoa! <gasps> That's incredible! Okay, maybe this becomes our adventure. This looks like there's like villagers though, so this looks like safe. This also looks like it's been run down, which is kind of scary. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so cool. Yeah, we're definitely going here next. <gasps> there's a waypoint! Oh my gosh, this is the first village with a waypoint. Ooh, I can't wait to use these. Okay, map. So, uh, let's put a temporary waypoint here. Oh, and we're not even that, like, far away. I feel like... Oh, yeah, literally, they're, like, pretty close to each other, honestly. It's interesting. There's, like, just different spots around. Okay. Are you, like, in here? Oh, you just escaped that way. Okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna sleep in here because it's safer, just to say. Okay. Dude, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. I love this. <gasps> so much exploring. I need to like make sure I don't get distracted because I will for sure get distracted and not actually get the things done today that I wanna get done. So I need to make sure I like stay focused. But we're gonna make more bread. Bread will be good for our adventures. And then let's take our crafting table with us. And along the way, we are going to collect a bunch of our different oak. So we do need to make sure we collect oak because we're gonna build out of oak. But we're gonna make our way up to the pink waypoint because the pink waypoint is the village. And along the way, if I see some cows, we're gonna grab the cows because I, I desperately need cows because I wanna make a different backpack. One inventory slot is not a lot. And I'm gonna collect here i love adventuring this is just so fun this is why i wanted to do a long play adventure world because there's so many things to explore in modded and i feel like getting to adventure and like discover these things together just makes it way more fun i'm definitely going the wrong way i'm getting distracted i need to like get used to using the maps there's the waypoint I just like will take off in a direction and then like forget that I need to follow waypoints. <laughs> so with these two villages being side by side, to me it kind of looks like this one is like overrun, but maybe it's just abandoned. Cause my thought was it looks like it's overrun. Like there's some spooky people living in here, you know? But I don't actually think that that is the case. It just seems like there's an abandoned village and then a fully active village, right? Which if I look at the map, this is our house. So this is pretty far away. So that is a bummer. But at the same time, like if we, you know, make our way into a village and just like have a bunch of rails that we can like pull from villages, like then it's not too bad. I'm gonna keep my shield on me. Ouch, I need to eat foods. I'm keeping my shield on me in case we end up uh, running into some bad guys. I feel like this is fully abandoned and won't be causing issues for us, but I can't tell. That's the like not so fun part of this. Okay, so these just seemed like abandoned burnt down buildings which is honestly kind of cool like it kind of creates like some lore to this area like something happened here 
and I haven't figured out what it is, but something happened here, right? Like, something was happening. Something happened, this place was kind of destroyed, and now we're kind of like scouring for what actually happened. Ooh, I need cows. Hi, buddy. I'm sorry, but I need a lot more leather to try to make a bigger backpack, so I apologize. I am truly sorry. Um, I appreciate your sacrifice. Thank you very much. I do truly appreciate. I wonder if those guys give leather. But those guys also are way scarier than just a cow. I'm a little bit nervous to try to attack those guys. But I feel like they would also give leather. It would just make sense, right? Now, I know I saw chests in here, so that's what I'm kind of, like, scouring and looking for. Because some of these definitely had chests. At least I thought they did. Maybe I was mistaken. Oh, no. Yeah, some of them have chests. I'm just exploring through it all. Oh, hello. That's a nice little chest. Some of these places are pretty decent, not gonna lie. It's a little well, how cute. And a little stair system. A little lookout. Nice. Alright, I'm curious how to get into here. The mystery of some of these spaces are just trying to get into them. Oh, I think I already tried getting into here. Okay. Well, we were already in that one. I'm surprised I found so much iron in that one. Like, this could actually be a really good find for today. Like, I needed iron. Check. We're finding iron in all of these spots, which is wonderful. Love that for us. We can get a bunch of seeds for doing our, like rot fields later now i just need to decide what to get rid of let's get rid of a bunch of these i'm getting rid of a bunch of these stone like this is super helpful for us because i want to make some wheat fields because me making the cow crusher later today we're going to need a bunch of wheat for seeds and everything and i also want to have let's do some backpacking let's put some seeds in there We'll put the experience guy in there as well, and let's put these guys in there. I'm not keeping the flax seed. I feel like that's just something I don't really need right now. Um, well, let's put those in there. And let's get rid of this. I have extra iron if I need to, like, use that for anything else. But that's nice. Okay. This is just, like, so great. Oh, there's a little salamander guy. Hello, buddy. Hello. You're so cute. Some of my favorite little random dudes. <gasps> a bookshelf? I feel like this is like one of those uh, trail ruins, but like exposed. That's what this is giving me like vibes of. Is that a fly? <laughs> is this really a fly? Oh no, it's a butterfly. <laughs> I'm like, am I seeing flies in this mod pack now? <laughs> Oops. Like, I like that we're finding some of these different like ruined books and things like that's super cool let's check out this tower though i'm very curious oh that is a drop off hello maybe that's where everyone went blue knight that's interesting okay let's try to get into here hey i need oak that's great beetroot seeds hmm not really something we need oh yes look at all these books this is so good bone meal hello yes please that's amazing um i'll take arrows and bread and all of that we'll take more of this i'm so glad we decided to go like exploring today this is wonderful Ooh, and we get more books oh look at all these things we get okay let's get up to the top i'm like very distracted right now we get more oak beautiful yes more books love that for us Beep. and uh we'll take iron let's uh let's leave this here and leave that there take that we'll keep going up for now 
I'm gonna go all the way up. Oh, there's moss. Oh, yes, the moss block. Okay, so this is what I saw. Oh, my first diamond and a power. Oh my gosh, yay. Ready, ready? Advancements. <gasps> yeah, our first diamond on top of this. Let's go. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait. Do you see all those villagers? Um, hello? Let's take a little, like, peep. Oh my gosh. Guys, maybe I make a waystone and just make this my village that I come to. This is so cute. And there's so many villagers. I have not seen this many villagers in a town in a very long time. How do we make a waypoint? That is insane. That is so many villagers and probably so much good loot. <gasps> Dude, I love exploring in this. Oh, this looks like quite the crater. And there's another village back there with purple. Dude, I, I feel like this just needs to be an exploring thing, but I can't just have it be exploring. But how do I make a waystone? So if I just click to make a waystone. Nice. Okay, so how do I make that? Oh, that actually isn't that bad. I just need to find an ender pearl. And then we're like, good. Okay. Well, that's not too hard, actually. So I think that will be the strategy, right? Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here, this here, this here. We're taking the name tag. We'll take the bow because now I can actually use the bow, which is great. Um, I'm actually gonna leave the rails. I can come back for some of this later, honestly. Um, let's do our backpack again. We can leave that here. The books can fit. And let's put the name tag in there. I really want to make a bigger backpack, just saying. Okay, now I know there was some other goodies around on the way down, so let's grab the moss. Okay, um, I don't want anything there, but I do want to grab these, these moss cubes and all of the potted plants, because I love me some potted plants. Okay, we can close that, and I'm taking the lantern. I'm literally just like slowly gonna be destroying all these spots. Oh, there's a little bed. We can sleep here. Incredible. Okay. Now let's see what's in here. An iron hoe. Honestly, I'll I'll upgrade it. Not a whole lot, but that's something. We'll take some more logs. I don't need bone meal, but we'll take this. And we'll take that. And I think that should be good. Nothing else in here is like interesting to me. So we'll go one more down and then we'll come over here. Take those. Take that. Take those. Nothing in there for us. We've got these. Okay. Keep going down. All right, now this is where it gets kind of interesting. So, let's try this. And... How do I get rid of this? <laughs> That's like the only way I could think of to like safely get down. Okay, we've got our pots. Honestly, me finding a bunch of like pots here today, it makes it way easier for me to not feel like I need to have all these extra different uh, like clay blocks collected because I just got these. Let's collect this. This is kind of a fun little trophy friend, right? And let's just see if I can put any of this away. The books can go. Um, yes, we'll get the skeleton. We'll keep the skeleton. I'm go not gonna keep this. I feel like this is more important to keep. I don't need these, but I will keep the candles. And then let's just go down again. More of those. And collect you. Beautiful. Okay. Now get rid of you. Get rid of you and the books. Nothing was in there. Equals. We can put the books away. I feel good about that. Okay. Well... I feel like that was very successful. We found a lot of goodies in here. 
Man, okay. Well, now I feel like we just need to go to the village. And make our way up there. I'm still so shocked how many just villagers are in there. And I also know there was like a chest in one of these, which I am very curious to like check that out. So we're going to go there. Hopefully I'll be able to find more leather soon because I really want to upgrade my backpack. Okay, let's check this out. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, there's two chests. Ooh, gold and emeralds. I feel like the emeralds are more important now, but I'll honestly take the gold anyways. We'll take some charcoal. That was a good find there. I'm very happy with that. But let's go up here. I'm so happy there's a giant village here. I was literally just saying how I don't know where there's any villagers. And this place has a legit little, uh, little waystone, which makes everything so much easier. <gasps> Whoa, there's like just pillars of resources here. That's so cool. <gasps> Ooh, this is my happy little build spot. This is where I can come back to multiple times and get goodies. Bone blocks? They make their houses out of bone blocks. <gasps> That's incredible. Oh, and they got two tiers. Amazing. Oh, do they have little balconies? <gasps> oh my gosh, wait. And he's like sitting in a chair, basically. <gasps> this is so cute. Look at their little flower boxes. I mean, it's not like a real flower box, but like, these are cute. Hello. Hi, buddy. Bruno. <gasps> I don't think we can talk about you, can we? <laughs> I still can't believe they make these out of bone blocks. That's so incredible. Oh, look at all these foods we can get. We can get rice. Oh my goodness. So many goodies. So many goodies. Oh my goodness. I need to come back here. Uh, I have too much in my inventory. Why is this here? I feel like this isn't supposed to be here. That feels like a wrong generation. Just gonna say that. Cool. Okay, I like it. Oh, and this has a balcony and little chairs. Are you kidding? That's adorable. I love that. Oh, and they've got berries. So cute. This is so fun. Oh, a little, little place. I love it. And there's pictures. There's item frames. Hello. This place is a little too much goodness. Too much goods. Okay. Honestly, I feel like I'm just going to explore this today. Our, our plans have changed as we've explored. Because I need to still, like, make my windmill. I need to make my own, like, food source, a farm. But we can at least discover this. Can I rename this? Whoa, a ham, a flint knife. <gasps> Dude, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. Bread, I will take your bread. Hello, what is your name? Tammy. Hello, Tammy. Apologies for taking some of your resources. This is so cool. Anything in here? Hello, Amos. There's two of you, though. What are you? Okay, I just see an Amos. That's, that's all I can see right now. Pumpkin pie. Oh my goodness. Do you need like health? Did that help? Can I split you guys up? Are you like... Oh, I saw a different name. What are you? Math... Matthew with one T. Hello, Matthew and Amos. Kind of acted like they're conjoined twins there. Oh gosh. There's military. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, well, let's uh, go down here. 
I need to be careful not to mess with their town too much. <gasps> Whoa, the librarian. Hello, soul. <gasps> Whoa, what are you? A beekeeper, no shot. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay, well, I don't want to take your specific ones. <gasps> Wait, an eye armor trim? Hello? What on earth? This is so interesting, guys. I'm just like in shock. I need a bigger backpack. I really do. I'm already running out of space completely. Like I'm literally out of space. <laughs> That's incredible. Wow, okay. Well, that can go there. Um, books will go into our backpack. Paper is good for things. Let's check upstairs. Nothing too much. Some more bread. Lovely. Oh, look at this. They've got a little beehive. And they've got all their... Oh my gosh, this is too much. This is too cute. This is so cool. I love the librarian's house. So, so cool. So it's got to watch... Someone just took damage and I have a feeling it was you. <laughs> Terry, did you take damage, you silly goose? Anything up here? Nope, but I bet there was supposed to be. Man, well this is, this is so cool. I can't get over it, this place is just giant. Okay, I'm trying to like figure out like where should we check out? I feel like these larger builds are gonna be the most helpful to look for, but I don't know if there's like a specific spot that's like gonna have more iron. Oh my gosh, no way. They make these with hoppers? Oh, <gasps> is this a capybara? There's a freaking capybara in this village? Oh my gosh, there's so many of you. Hello, guys. Hello. Um, I saw a capybara, and I need to see it. I need to see the little guy. I don't know where it went, but it was up here somewhere. Where's the capybara? I can't believe there's capybaras in here. Where did it go? It was down here somewhere, wasn't it? It's another one of those ominous, kind of like a temple thing. Come here. Where'd you go? <gasps> oh, look at that happy bear! Look at the happy bear! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Look at the snoot! Oh my gosh, there's literal capybaras in here. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. It's so cute. It's so cute. I can't get over it. Also, can you believe they make these? I needed hoppers for today's project. <gasps> oh, they squeak. Oh, they're so cute. Uh, okay, I need to like sleep here. Um, okay, I need to decide what I'm bringing home and what I'm not. And my feeling right now is... It's tough, man. It's a tough decision. It really is tough. Hello there, Pablo. How's it going? So here's my idea, okay? We're going to try to put as much of this away. And then I have some empty slots in my inventory now. So we're just going to take all of these now. Okay. I needed hoppers for today. This literally saves... Hoppers for this cow farm that I'm going to make, this cow crusher farm, is literally why I needed a lot more iron because I did need to use a hopper. But the fact that they just like make all of these with hoppers literally saves my life. This is so many hoppers too. This is great. Literally saving. Saving me. Saving everything. Now, there's so much to explore in this village and I think I really just need to partially start just going back home and starting to work on this project of mine because if I don't leave, I'm just gonna spend all my time here and I wanna get some builds done. Oh, there's a giant ant. And I wanna get some like actual building done today. So we have to come back here. And I think what we need to do is make sure that we can get some, uh, let's see if we can find any cows. There's so many villagers. So I'm not seeing any like cows, but there's some leather workers. So I feel like if we find where the leather workers live, then we can hopefully 
channeling, nice. But if we can find some uh, leather workers, I think maybe we could then find out if we can uh, get some extra backpack space or make a second backpack, honestly, like either or would be great. Oops, making making notes on signs without even trying to make notes on signs. Definitely good on potatoes. How did you all get stuck there? I don't want to hit any of you. There you go, guys. Hopefully that helps you out. Um, let me see. We've got a lot of potatoes. So, okay. My thought now is... I don't, I do want the carpet. I think I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna take the rice back because I think rice will be a very helpful food for us. There's so many iron golems in this place. I need to be careful. I don't actually bop a villager because that would be terrible. <laughs> oh, there's cabbage and pumpkin. So many little things. Okay, so most of these are just like houses where they live. Okay, you do... You're a mason. Okay. It's a cake. A butcher, please say no, but you've got all these other goodies. Hello. Raw mutton, a flint knife. Oh, there's just too many goodies, guys. There's so many cool things here. I can't get over it. There's moo blooms up here. Oh my goodness. Just so many cool things. There's item frames. So many goodies. Oh, there's another one of you. Uh, robbed. Look at this. Knockback vein mining. Let's go. Loyalty. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is so good. Okay. I don't need mushrooms. I will take these because the books I can put and make 64. Now, other items. I think... My thought is, I don't need chests, I can make chests. So I want knockback and vein mining. I think I'm just going to make it so that I end up taking the, the vein mining on a pickaxe. We're going to do it that way. Um, let's see what other things I can just, like, forget about. I think for now... Okay, so this town has bone blocks for their building blocks. I think I'm going to just not take those with me. Um, let's check inside my backpack. So we've got a ton of just raw iron. We could smelt that up. Um, I like the idea of having the flowers, but honestly, let's just leave the flowers for now. I need to start prioritizing this a lot better than I have been. And then we're going to take this and make blocks of hay bales, put you in there, save more space. And then pretty soon we can have space for more carrots because I'm going to eat the carrots. I can probably get rid of this uh, one little, uh, like this one, what am I thinking of? Uh, I can get rid of the little hoe because I probably won't need that. Okay, and then only an emerald. I just want to like check in case I can find a special little uh some more leather <gasps> oh they've got dogs too this is so cute i love this oh my word this is so fun i love how they just have like a piece of bread um let's cook up this meat wow they have so many different types minced beef man they got some goodies in here but if I can get rid of that, because then I can get rid of the carrots, right? We don't need the carrots anymore. I won't need those little breads, so we can get rid of those. I do need more oak, but I think once we get this amount of oak, we should be good. I thought I put more coal in there than I did. Nice. But man, this is so pretty and this is so cool. Oh, and there's another, like, regular village. Nice. Oh, there's a blacksmith. Promising. Oh, look at that. That's like an apiary. Oh, guys, this world is just so pretty. There's so much to it. I want to explore everything. Oop, 
and maybe that's why I keep getting all these pillagers coming towards me. Pillagers. I like how I already have so many little, like, little waypoints just, like, marked out because there's so many cool things. But I love it, honestly. All about it. All right, now that we have like a better solid food source, I'm not as concerned about using the bread. Um, I wanna get another stack and so of the oak because we do need oak and I don't have any oak in here. Um, I love that we have some eye armor trims since we are in 120, that is one of the, the pluses to this. Okay, so we've got some space in here. Um, I wanna have the potatoes and honestly, I should keep the carrot just because we are gonna want to like plant with them. But now we're gonna go down here. The last thing I wanna do, okay, we're gonna go home guys. We are going to build, I'm gonna start building, but I first want to just check to see if that village, oh, there's another hamster, they're so cute. I just wanna see if that blacksmith has any more diamonds because if I can make a diamond pickaxe, that would be beautiful. So we're just gonna do a quick check, okay? We're not spending a lot of time here and then we're going home. I am curious though, so we are checking. Just a quick little peek of a check, okay? And honestly, oh my gosh, they have a waystone. I'm bringing it home. Yes, guys, this was a good call. This was a beautiful call. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Whoa, there's bounty boards. Oh my goodness. That's even cooler than I thought. Oh, they have timers. Required, light blue, bundled wool. I get a white bed and a black banner. We get lapis blocks, stringed wool, woven carpet, arrows. Oh, that's pretty neat. I mean, they're not like the best bounties, I'm not gonna lie. Oh gosh, what the heck are you? Bonita. Oceanographer, that does check out. Lucio, oh my gosh, they can give me flat. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh. Hi. <gasps> Do you have, oh my gosh, there's two of you. I need one of you at home. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We can have copper golems. Oh my goodness. I forgot about these guys. Yeah, they're so cute. Look at them, he's pushing buttons. Okay, well now I feel like I need to bring this back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, just so many goodies. So many good things. I'm losing track of where. Oh, I thought this was the blacksmith. Awkward. We've got a pan. Okay, well, no blacksmith. There's two bounty boards though. The bounty boards are cool though. Oh, we could get a horse. There's two horses. Okay, well, the thing I know I do want is I want this waystone. Because me coming down the hill to uh, just say hi to these guys isn't that big of a deal. But I do like the idea of having a little copper golem friend. So we're going to take you. We're going to take you. And we're going to take you. Hee 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 hee. Yay. Okay. Now, this is, it looks like just a flower shop. Oh, this is a Fletcher. Okay. Nice. So, we're gonna sleep. Oh, I was gonna say, where's my bed? We're gonna sleep here. There's bounty boards everywhere, so there's lots of things to do here. Hopefully, some of these will have better bounties than others. Oh, my gosh, there's a spore blossom in here. Oh, my word. Oh my goodness, there's just so many goodies. I can't decide on any of it. Let's sleep in here and then we're gonna go home. We're gonna start building. And I think because this village that I'm by is really close to uh, this one, we're just going to have, oh, hi, Bonita. Um, let's see if these bounty boards, oh, these are more like getting mobs. Brew a swiftness potion, cauldron. Give them dirt, kill spiders, we get a piece of lapis. Not all of these are good, but the fire res seems like it's pretty decent, right? Kill a zombie, brew a swiftness potion. Okay, um, 
required magma cream and blaze rod. Some of these are like kind of hard. Required cauldrons, and we get some dust back and magma creams. And kill some creepers to get some of these. Unbreaking. Yeah, they're not like super good. All right, and now we're almost to the bridge back home, so we're doing good. We've got a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna be really happy to just get back home and just bring this all across. Now I just need to make sure... Oh, that's our uh, little house that we visited before, but now I just have to make sure I don't fall off the bridge. So sprinting and then shifting. Okay. We're good. Now we're close to home, which is great. Well, I would say that was quite the adventure. I did not expect to find all of those extra buildings. I just saw the ones on the map that we marked, but we're gonna have to go exploring all of these other ones too, because, I mean, there's literally just so many cool things, right? Now the trick that I'm going to have is I just saw one cow in our area and I need at least two. So this is my one cow friend. Now I need to have more than one cow friend. I don't have any like wheat with me right now. So that'll be a problem. But let's for now, let's uh, put all of the wood down. And we'll put this down. We need a hopper. We need... Uh, let's check in our chests. We're gonna like off, drop off these things too. So we've got this. Uh, we'll have the wheat, we need the potatoes, the carrot, all of that's going to go over here. We open this up again, we need the seeds here. Lots of seeds because we're going to be planting from some crops and farmland. And now honestly, everything else that's in my backpack, like, I got it all, so we're good. Now I just want to place down our waystone somewhere. I feel like we need to like find a good spot for it like obviously we can like move it later on but i'm just gonna like scroll and figure out where would be a good spot i feel like if our house path is gonna lead this way and our little windmill is gonna go right there that guy's ready to snipe me i need to fill that cave in oh and there's that guy mm-hmm Where'd you go? Hmm. I'm watching for ya. Did you despawn? I think it just despawned as I caught it, which I'm, I'm good with. But like I was saying, like if our, uh, if our windmill path is gonna come right here, I feel like right by this pond is where things should go. Oh yeah, there's definitely things uh, coming. Ready? Take aim. First time. Take aim. Nice. Okay. Let's uh, pick this up. That's an experience. So let's put our waystone down by this pond here. Let's put it right here for now, honestly. <gasps> Yay. Okay, so let's name it. My home. Now, one thing that I think would be kind of fun, I haven't ever done this before, but I thought it would be fun. Now, I have my home and my main village on here, but I thought it would be kind of cool to actually give a name to this area. So, our, our style is living in a beautiful blush sakura, sakura grove. We're making our builds in more of like a fantasy style. So, if you have a special name that you think we should call this area, our little grove on top of our hill let me know in the comments because i think it would be fun to actually give a name to our area i've never done it before but i thought it would be fun and then we can uh, rename our waystone here which would be also very cool so let me know what you think about name suggestions for that and for now let's put everything else away i do really wish that i could uh have more leather and make a bigger backpack because i was not expecting this backpack to be so small just a small little backpack but that's okay but honestly i'm okay with it we got a diamond out of it like that's wonderful um i'm happy so these are where i'm gonna keep all of our like our goods okay so we can make a bunch now we can make a bunch of bookshelves so let's quickly do that so we can have our books 
so we can go like so look at that 10 books oh my goodness and let's go put these up here Now, I have lanterns, so I like the idea of having a lantern be up here too, just to give us some more light. And then I'm gonna just like have some lapis on hand. So we're at 20 right now. So I think we need some right here. So I'm just gonna move this, add two on that side. We'll add two on this side. Now we've got 28. Now I th think if I just put these right here, this will be enough. So now we're at 30, there we go. We've got officially a 30, a level 30 enchanting setup. So that was one of the goals for today. So I'm just gonna leave this lapis here because honestly the lapis looks so cool, just like hovering and moving. So we're gonna place that there, place all the rest of our books. Cause if we just wanna like, go through the books like we can do that right so we're gonna leave that and i think honestly putting like a little skull on here is kind of cool oh they sound unique so that's kind of fun honestly i really like that and then we can have some of these candles we can color them but i think white will be pretty can't put any there so maybe okay we'll put the rest of them in a different spot but i think that's so fun and then we can have our little friend but let's put our bed back down so we spawn back here if we die but we got a bunch of advancements on our way today we discovered our little waystones i'm like super happy about this honestly big time excited and happy about what we got done literally so good and I'm gonna move this right here, and then this potted plant can go in here. And then I don't wanna make our little iron friend quite yet. I wanna make sure that they're not gonna like, just like run away. So I'm gonna just leave them in here for now. So maybe our like special things, we go like here, maybe? So this is our little iron golem friend. We've got this. And we've got the candles that are like more special. This is like food and stuff. And we've got the bow and arrow. But let's uh, lay some carpet down in here because that's literally what I was waiting for. Does this still stay at 30? Okay, with the carpet there, cool. Because this is what I was really wanting to have down. This is like, I love having carpet down in my areas and I usually use moss. So I was really bummed when I hadn't really like found a lush cave yet but this makes it so much better. Like, look at this. It looks so much better with a carpet, right? So that's what I was like the most excited for, honestly. Okay, so now the fun part is we're going to be building up a, a windmill and we're gonna start grabbing some resources for that now. And I think I grabbed everything I'll need for now. So let's go over there and then I'm going to leave these guys. I need some hoppers, but let's leave the lights over here. We'll leave the food in here. All that extra food stuffs. We'll leave the experience in there. Chests we'll bring with us. We've got some emeralds now. I can't believe we found eye drums. Use the left shift and right button. <gasps> what to you set a new name without an anvil left shift and right button that's so cool wow that's incredible okay oh i need a glass for this project so uh, we're going to first make the outline of our little place here and then we're going to make the little cow farm so I need to make sure I have the space correct for us to be building this, but we are gonna get started on this. I'm not just gonna keep prolonging it. We're getting started. I appreciate you guys just kind of uh, hanging out, going adventuring with me, but now we're gonna get into the building of the parts of today. I just realized I need more sticks and um, I need more, more, axes and things so we're quickly gonna make some of those oops what am i doing 
I don't need that. I need these. There we go. Okay. Now, I think I want to make another axe. And then we'll make another shovel. Because then we have some of each. Now, I'm going to need more of the dirt in order to uh, really make this work. Because I still need it to fill in the space, right? So we're just going to take some of this dirt here. And we'll just clear out some of the bamboo that we don't actually need to be in the middle here. So that'll be good. Okay. I'm so happy we have a waystone. Oh, that's so exciting. That is literally huge. I forgot that you could have waystones in here. But now I'm like super excited for that. So, so great. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've got a bunch of dirt, so this should be good. So let's finish this up. Get it all built out. Oh, I did get this all filled in. Okay, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is just move this back. want more space and we're also gonna move this there we go there we go perfect okay i feel like this is good for like the space we'll need i'm just also collecting some of these because we're going to use this wood as we build so it's good to have some on hand okay so this is our space to build our little windmill. I think it will be great. And then we'll put some crop fields around it. Now, the one thing I don't have a lot of is the granite. So for now, I am just going to start by using some of the uh, just like spruce. But then we are going to need to go out and actually go collect more of the granite. Because that's going to be a larger building component of this especially this main level so there's going to be two levels to this and the first one is going to be mostly granite and brick on the bottom but then the upper level is going to be made of spruce and the roof topper is going to be made out of this sakura sakura wood so that's kind of the plan for how we're building as far as the shape if i i feel like let me just look at this if I'm thinking of where our path is going to come out, I feel like right where I'm standing is good. So, like, right over here, I feel like is probably what I want it to be. So then, let's have our shape be out here. So we're doing five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I'm just kind of, like, testing this out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five right here one two three five one two three four five um one two three four five this is supposed to this how did i do that not exactly sure but this should be here i'm pretty sure i just miscounted on one of these yeah literally you're four <laughs> I was like, why isn't this working how it should? The math size ain't mathing. Okay, so this is the general shape of the bottom. And then we're also going to have this little beginning part coming out by three. Just like so. So you'll see three from the side. So that's how that's going to look. I did mess around with this in creative. So I kind of already have the idea of like how this is going to look. This is going to be four high as well. So that's kind of the dimensions of everything that we're going for. But that's the uh, the idea that I have for this. And I think it will look really nice. We're going to use oak as the flooring. So I'm already going to start grabbing some oak. And I'm also going to move over our little, uh, little carpenter's table. Because that's what we're going to be using today to build with. Which I really love that we have the chipped mod in here. So I think that'll be super fun. So let's just take our little... Does an axe work better? I never know what works better for this. Also, I, I'm safe now, so I can put my shield away. We'll just tuck that in there for now, and we'll leave all these twigs and other things. 
um, around. But now we can put these back. Just plant some trees randomly as we go. Also, I think really quickly, I'm going to add some some torches into this little spot because I feel like I've just kept on I just kept on getting mobs coming out of here. I don't like that idea. It's a little too spooky for me. There. Now nothing should find its way out. And we should be safe now. So now we've got our little table here. And I was already looking at some of these. And there's one that looks very industrial. And it's this nailed oak plank one. So we're going to use a ton of these for the main floor level. Because they look super cool in my opinion. So on the inside, we're going to be using those. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to just like fully uh, build this out in spruce just so that I can at least start getting the actual spruce second layer going and we can get the roof on and then once we get those things I then we are going to go out and explore and like actually go get the granite for the bottom level but I really just want to make sure that I can get the whole uh I want the whole build kind of like built out with just what I have so far. So since I have a lot of the spruce and I have a lot of the sakata wood, it's gonna be easy for me to just get started mostly getting the upper, the second level and the roof on. So I'm just gonna kind of like loosely use some of these, uh, these ones to uh, make the shapes of everything. One, two, three, four. And that way, it'll just be easier for me to kind of, like, build out, you know, from there. And I also need to have the shape right for, for building the cow crusher in here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. So, there we go. Okay, so that's kind of, like, the idea is to like loosely just use what we already have for blocks and make what we can make with that. I'm just gonna bob and weave. No, 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 not you guys again. No, 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 no. Why do these guys keep coming for me? Goodness gracious. These guys just come out of everywhere. Ugh, that's... That's something. That's something, I tell ya. They just love saying hello. And what's annoying is, once again, they're literally right where I'm trying to build. They just like to come into my life and bother me. Have you noticed that? Because literally, both times I've been building, last time, they interrupted me twice. And now this time, they, uh, like, they're just coming for me. So now, I don't, I don't want to even go outside. Let's look at them. I don't think they like followed me. But look at them. They're just waiting. <laughs> the goose. <laughs> I love them. They're so derpy. They're just like long necked chickens. They're like giraffe chickens. But these guys. I just want to build. I swear they have to have a friend around. Because there was one that had an axe, right? Unless he despawned. Mm, it's a little sus. Maybe they despawned? I kind of think they did. Because there was a third one and now it's not there. That's a little concerning. Also concerning that I need two cows for this project and I literally have one in like miles. Ooh, hey, there's something else over here. Oh, this is what I'd already checked out. 
literally I will need to go exploring for a cow. I feel like there has to be one in this birch forest, right? Just It just has to be a thing. Okay, well that's super fun. I don't know what those dots are. Oh, I just want them to go away. I mean, now I have a bow. Like, I could get them. Maybe we try. Maybe we be brave, yeah? Should we be brave? <laughs> uh, do we feel like being brave? Do we feel like it, though? Okay. I should honestly just keep this shield on me just in case, but let's be brave. I don't hear the dude, right? Alright. Misters, I need to work, and you are always in my way. Therefore, you must pay. Rhymes by Red. That actually rhymed really well, and that was, like, just me on the fly doing that, so I'm pretty proud of that. Okay, you guys. Yeah, I'm looking at you, eyebrows. A little bit further up. Bing! 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 Ooh, nice. Snipe! Snipe! Gone. Collect my arrows. Hi, cow. Bye, dude. Ooh, you give emeralds. Hi, cow. Listen, I need you to stay around here, okay? I'm in desperate need of more of you. Can you just, like, hang out here, please? Okay, you know, maybe just leaving the shield on, you know, near me is good. So I'm just gonna work on leaving that there. We'll leave our, our bow and everything. We'll leave that all here for now. Okay. Now, what I want to do is with this little uh, hopper situation. So, we only need one hopper. We need a chest. We need a bucket for water. We need some glass. And then, we need some slabs. And, we need a fence post. So, we're going to make our crafting table stay here. Um, I wish that I would have this, like, open thing, because now I'm, like, fence. Two blocks, two sticks. Okay, cool. I was like, I don't even remember making these things now, like, hello. But this makes sense, like, when you actually look at it, it does make sense, but, like, sometimes I just forget. So, we need, we just need three stairs. We need three slabs. If I can actually like put things down. Three slabs. We just need one fence. So some of these other things like I can put elsewhere. But we need uh, a fence. We need three stairs. We'll need three slabs. We'll need some like placeholder blocks. We'll need a bucket of water and some stained glass. We'll only need like three. And the hopper. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to put this whole back in. And then our stairs to get us up here are going to kind of be a little bit off to the side. And I'm looking at my screenshot of how I set things up just so I can make sure I'm doing this right. And I want the like, uh, the lines and everything to just be perfect. So we've got a stair here, a stair here, a stair here. Oops, a stair here. And I think... Two, three, one, two, three. We'll do one more over. Because then one, two, and three. And then this is our other stair to get up to our second level. And this is where our second level is going to start. So this is going to go like so. And then our second level is going to be all kind of just one in. 
So this is more so what I wanted to just get the kind of like a an idea of what the front is going to look like and the second level is going to look like because this is an area that we're going to have be all spruce but I needed to have the bottom level done so that I could kind of like start placing things where I want them for the inside layer because it was going to be a little bit smaller so this is going to be granite brick and it's going to just be one size larger than the inside of this. So that's kind of the, the idea with that. But now that we've got this in place, we're, we're looking good. Okay, so now this is perfect. So this is set up exactly how I would have it. Now, right here is where we place this. Right here is where we place this. And then we're going to place the slabs. Oops, hang on. I always forget this slab there. Placeholder, slab there. And then the glass goes right here. And oops, I need to climb this right here. And then we're also going to place the, the, the fence is going to go right here, but I actually forgot. I need to get the cows in here first. <laughs> so that'll be the fun project, but then everything's going to get funneled in here and then we'll add in the water bucket. So this is like pretty much done for now as far as what I'm able to do. So then I'm just going to leave the rest of this how it is. I'm not going to like fill it in a ton because this is again just supposed to be kind of like temporary. And this is gonna be all the brick, but it's gonna look so good, I'm excited. So I'm leaving those top ones just so I can kind of like know where those are gonna be. But then we can start working on the top layer. So then let's, we are gonna have the top be seven tall so once we're here we're gonna just fully get this all figured out one two three four five six and seven taking full damage one two three one two three we'll just go around three and then we can do four on the the next round that'll probably make it easier And let's see, this is also one of them. So then this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this because obviously this would come like up here but we're not gonna try to like close this off quite yet so I'll figure out what I'm gonna do there in a moment I might end up uh, like moving this back one but for now we can uh, get the rest of this so this is oh darn it <laughs> when my parkour skills just fail but now we do Yes, that made it. Okay, so this is three. One, two, three, four. Can I still reach? I can't. Okay, so that's good to know. So then one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, just one, two. So we are running out of material. But it's okay because we're going to get more. But it is starting to get dark, so I do need to be careful. I also want to put the door in. There we go, look at that, so lovely. And then I also am going to start kind of like path blocking this out so that I kind of know where we're going with it. And we've got more spruce, so that's good. And we're probably gonna go to sleep back at our house once we get this fully uh, covered up. So this is what two so this is three and this is three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. Two, 
Okay, perfect. And now I'm gonna put some torches down in here real quickly because I don't want things spawning in here. And we'll do another one on this side. And then, now let's take just a look, right? So this again, <laughs> this will be brick and it will be one wider than what this is. And then the windmill, oh, look at all these cherry leaves right now. It's so pretty at night. So then the cherry leaves, I mean the windmill. I'm literally just talking about cherry leaves and then saying cherry leaves. You guys ever do that? But then the windmill banners will come across here. So I do need to find more sheep. So there's also that. So there's definitely things to uh, work on, but I think it's looking good for now. I'm really happy with it. I like how it's turning out. Trying to add more lights around our area. I'm not seeing any spooky spooks quite yet, so that's good. So that's... Ooh, hey! I will get that a different day, though. <laughs> Trying to collect some stuff at night is not always the smartest. Okay, taking a snooze, and I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee because I've not touched my coffee this whole time and I need to take some sips of it. But I, I love how this area looks now. Like all the flowers in here, it's just so pretty. I love the like lapis just hovering in the background. taking some sips i hope that if you're uh having this on in the background or you're just watching and enjoying all the vibes i hope that you got some yummy snacks or some drinks by you so that you can just be enjoying this but i think i have so i'm not going to use the glass yet so i'm just trying to like think about what we're going to use next and Part of me wants to go looking for the different pieces of uh, granite and brick right now, but the other part of me thinks that, like, I don't want to do that quite yet. But as far as, like, what this is going to look like, I think the windmill is going to look so pretty when we're done with it. Like, just having this area filled with more builds over time, like, I love that about making new things in minecraft i think that's like the most fun to, for me and it's just it's cool i love it one of my fave things it is absolutely wonderful now what i think will work on a little bit which i you know it's not my favorite but the roof okay so the roof needs to get worked on it's not my favorite thing I always struggle with the roofs, which is why I think I want to just start working on it now, honestly. And then we can just deal with the cows. Actually, let's see if I can get a cow in there. I feel like if I get a cow in there, we'll be in good hands, right? So let's find our cow. I think it's just up there. All right, let's get the cow. Because at least having the cow in there, like, I'll feel like it's a little bit more put together. So, let's get the cow quickly. Just gotta find Mr. Cow. I really hope I can find a second cow nearby. Alright, I'm not gonna hold this quite yet, because I just want the cow to follow me. Hi, cow. Come here. Come along with me. I'm getting this sheep following me too, which isn't exactly what I was hoping for, but it's fine. It's fine, everything's fine. Cow, I still got the wheat. Hello. No, 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 don't go that way, you goon. This way, yeah, yeah, you got it. You did so good. Come up here. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm just gonna sneak on this other side of you. Push you in the hole. Right off the edge. Yep. Scooch you inside. There we go. Okay. We got the cow in place. So then once I'm done getting a second cow, then we put this fence post over it and we add the water. But I'm not doing that yet because we need one more. 
so I'm happy to have a cow, but we'll, we'll hold on to this for now. Next thing I want to do is start grabbing some of our different wood types for the roof. So I don't need this. I'm going to take a bunch of this Sakura wood now since we're going to start using this and making a lot more of the planks and stairs and just uh, slabs. I feel like in my mind these are planks because I think of like walking a plank as like a thin piece of wood. So I always think of the slabs as planks and these just as like, I just want to call them like a block of wood but these are the planks and i just keep on confusing them i don't know if anyone else does that but i i definitely do that quite frequently oh i love how this just stays there that's super nice even though i need that to move so the biggest thing with this roof is it's going to be a lot of slabs and some stairs so we'll probably make 12 of these but honestly we're gonna have most of these be slabs for this and then some of them will just be our regular planks but as far as where this starts out we're going to have this start too wide too out so let's just start on this so if it's too wide from this that means that literally like right where i'm standing is where it's gonna start so then it will go like this. So the slabs will be here. And then on the underside of this, which, okay, I still can do this. It's going to have kind of like a little rim underneath it. And then that's gonna kind of carry us all the way around the sides. So we're just going to have this be on the bottom of all of this. And since this is where the windmill is going to attach to, I'm not going to do the roof trim quite yet. I want to get enough blocks. Like I need to go find wool as well cuz you know, we need we need the white wool for the sheepies, but I think for that I'm honestly going to go back to the village cuz if I remember right, there was some white wool between those two villages. Like I think which village was it? This one had, see this white wool right here? I think I'm just going to go grab some of that. And then I didn't see a whole lot of wool here, but there's this one in the old town. I feel like I want to call this old town and this new town. So I think I'm just going to go with that. But it does seem like there's some wool. We'll see if I have enough. I think between that and just like grabbing sheep along the way, we should be good. It seems like this was the only wool that we had here, and that's not the colors that I need. I also love how you can see this cute little, uh, kind of like flower garden place. But yeah, I think we'll definitely be able to find enough wool between the villages that we have and just the sheeps that are around. Like, we have a sheep, so we can like shear some. Not a whole lot, but you know, it's, it's something. It is something. I also need to like watch for it getting dark around here or not. Okay. So bottom slab. Where are those going? That was interesting. It was placing and getting rid of blocks almost, but then like not going anywhere. Peculiar. Very peculiar. And then this, oh, nope. Okay, so these I have to do it on the top one. And we'll just do some uh, casual kind of filling in. Oops, nope, don't want that one there. Okay, and then we'll use this. Fill in that. Now we can go up here. Hi, sheepy. Do I have iron on me? I don't, but I should. That would be super helpful. Alright, so then this piece goes here. Now, this is kind of interesting, because, like, I need this right 
there. There we go. Okay. Actually, this wasn't as like weird as I thought it would be. I feel like sometimes the slabs act so differently that I expect them to just be weird, but then they're like fine. And I think I'm going to go and sleep. We're taking fall damage no matter what we do, so we might as well just jump. Get a more direct way down there. I'm so happy we have a waystone already. I feel like having a waystone in better Minecraft just unlocks so much possibility. And if I can, like there's some endermen out there, like on the map you can see them. And if I'm just able to uh, grab some enderman eyes, like we could make some waystones. And it didn't seem like it was gonna be too difficult to do so. So that made me very excited. But I am glad we do have, you know, We've got some starts. Oh, hang on. Let's quickly grab some shears. Because then I can quickly grab that sheep and start uh, collecting up some wool slowly. Very slowly, but like, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll work, right? Maybe we actually try to keep the sheep like a little bit closer. Hello? Sheepy. There you are. Hi, buddy. Ooh, three wool. How nice of you. You want to come down here and graze? I bet you do. Hey, I'm, I'm offering you some wheat. Don't you want it? Yeah, you hungry. You don't have your wool as long. There we go. Okay, now hopefully they'll hang around here. We'll see if they actually... I, I immediately take that back. You're already trying to climb. Can't you just, like, stay in here? Why do you like the wall so much? <gasps> Wait, I think I see a, there's another sheep. Okay. Um, hang on. So. This is an ugly box. Yes, yes, I am aware. But the sheep will stay in it, and it'll be good, yeah? Come here, buddy. Come here. Yes, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't be on that. Come here. No, come inside. Inside the little cage. Yep. There we go. And you can munch. Now, we're just going to get some other... I think I saw a sheep. Because you can see these sheep on this map, right? There's a sheep here and some sheep here. Um, quick detour. I need to collect wool. So we're going to find these sheepy friends. And they're over here somewhere. I feel like I'm starting to get used to using the way... Uh, the map and the waystones. Here you are, hi buddy, and there's some more of you. One more of you? Hmm, I don't want you. Let's just take the white sheep. Hi, you little duck. Because the white sheep will actually give me... I can make more sheep with these two, but I just need white wool because I'm making my, my windmill. It's going to have white on it. So we're going to use some of that. And I'm sorry you'll have to have this ugly box while I'm uh, working on collecting this. But it will be worth it. It will have a cute little spot. It'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. Alright, now I just got to yeet you in there. Yeah, okay. Now... Oh, the hearts are more pink. I like that. There we go. We made a little... Oh, oh boy. We made a little baby. Nice. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now, you can phase through the blocks. Okay, I'm going to keep this wheat in my offhand. Now the other thing we need to find is eventually another cow. We've got our one little friend. But I feel like all we have to do is kind of, like, go roam around here. <gasps> Are these capybaras? I want a capybara as a pet. They're so cute. It is fun that there's, like, 
capybaras and things in this mod pack. Oh, did you fix your wool? Actually, now I can uh, shear ya. Right? Snippity snip. Okay, maybe I just... Um, I'm sorry, little guy. I'm sorry this was your life. I am sorry. Get your toes out of the... I need to pick up the wool. Um, we have problematic sheepy toes. Seven wool now, so it's kind of working. No, baby! How'd you... <gasps> Whoa, fences go sideways. Alright, little dude, follow me. Come on. Up the stairs. Go back in. Oh, I guess your AI is different. I'm okay with that, though. Okay, let's just, um... Yeah, let's make some fences. It is kind of interesting that this can go sideways. I didn't expect that. But I love it. I'm actually, like, very happy about that. That works so, so well. Oh, now of course you're there, yeah. Okay, now they're a little ugly, little box is gone. Did I already lose the baby sheep? Are you in there? Oh, you are in there, okay, look at that. And then we will make a carpet so that I can get out. Nice. Oh man, that's so cool. You can like create pretty much like circles. <gasps> I love that they have that now. That's so cool. Oh, I love this. Slanted fences and they like work well together. What a concept. I'm a big fan of that actually. That's actually really nice. Well, now I guess we can kind of just, uh, we can just, you know, have a box with their wool. <gasps> baby, no, baby. Um, prob problem. Oh, I see what that is. Interesting. Okay, come here, little, little troublemaker, you. Come here. Come here, troublemaker. In the pen. That's interesting to learn. I did not expect that to create an issue. Kind of a weird little glitch there. We've gotta really separate these, I guess. Hey guys, oh, I have the wheat, that's why. Can you breed again? No, okay. We'll leave that there. And the carpets can be in here too. Okay. Now we can uh, get back on target and keep working on this. Did I make two of these? Yeah, I made two. About to say, I hope I made more than just this. And I probably should just keep dirt on hand. I don't know why I was like removing it. I thought this was me doing this, just because it looked like such a funny placement, but it's just how they naturally spawn. Nice. Okay, jump. Now, from here, what we're going to do is, on my second monitor, I kind of, like, have um, a little, like, cheat. 
I have my like picture of how I'm building this and this is the second layer so we're going like so and then we're going to have this be here all the way across just like that and then this will go here like so Now, sometimes it's hard for me to, like, look at what I've, like, built for how I made the roof. Because this is a more, like, technical roof. It's a lot of just placing a ton of slabs and things. So it is a little bit extra. But it'll look really cool when we're done with it. So, like, I am, I am excited to, like, have this be done and looking good. Okay, I think we're gonna leave it at six. Oh, I see. No, we can we can have this be up. I just didn't finish this. That's why I was like, why is this looking strange? Literally because I didn't have this done yet. That's why. So that goes there. That goes there. go and that happened again i wish these could be a uh, straight up like vertical slabs that would be really nice i would enjoy having that as an option but you know it's okay if we don't have it um then there's that one that and then we didn't do this here. We just kind of left it. Oops. We're falling. I wonder if I can, like, make my own little stairway. Because I'm going to need to have this here, honestly. Like, this will be important. And speaking of important, we should sleep. I like how I went out the front door, even though there's literally like zero walls. So I could have just literally walked through the walls, kind of, you know, the openings. Okay. Now we take a little snooze. It'll be nice when I can uh, make another bed to have over there. Because right now I'm just like trying to keep my bed um, in my house because it's safe. But it'll be nice once that place is made and we can have... Our, our new little bedroom in a secondary house as well. Alright, let's check on our little sheepies. You're not really munching yet, but that's okay. Alright, let's see about... Yeah, I think we're just going to keep working on the roof. The roof is our main focus. All right, so now that we've got this, we can sort out the rest of this. So then this goes here. Let's put this in our offhand. I think that'll probably be easier. Oops, nope. Okay. And then that one. I don't like how these keep uh, going on the wrong sides for me, but it's fine. We will get it figured out. Oh, we got some rainy vibes. We love the rain. main sounds 
as I continue making this place a nicer little windmill, so I'll just let you enjoy.
clouds look at that beautiful rainbow in the sky after a nice rainy little time overnight i love waking up with the rainbows in this world i think it's really pretty because you get rainbows in regular minecraft but you don't get it in modded all the time or maybe whoa there's a creeper okay we're gonna run from the creeper i don't want a creeper getting me no thank you where did it go? Don't blow up my sheepies. There you are. Back. Mm, back. That's what I thought. I still need to figure out what these little green things are for. It's kind of interesting. Okay, let's check in our inventory. Alright. So, as far as the roof design goes, I am kind of still trying to figure out by looking at what I have in my creative world screenshot, if this is really how I want to make the roof. I'm trying to keep it as even as possible. We're slowly going to be lifting the roof up. So I think it'll look really nice when we're done and then we can uh, start working on getting our sheep, giving us all the wool so that we can get all of our windmill sails in place. And then we can uh, breed up some sheepies. Oh, well, hello there, Mr. Mister. Ooh, see, we can get these from them, which is so interesting. Grants the wear a slow falling effect after a brief half second fall and ends after two seconds. See, but this is like so expensive and I think I need a broken charm, which like broken charm. How do I make a broken charm? Like, that's what's interesting to me. There's like all these different things that you can make, but I can't even like click on this to like look at it. Once was a charm. Like, how do I, do I have to find a broken charm? Actually, how many do I have? Cause if I have enough to buy a little, a little splashy, the first of our collection, that would be kind of fun. So let's quickly check. I have eight. <gasps> Should I use these on a plushie? <laughs> I feel like I want to use these on a plushie. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's get a plushie friend. Hi, dude. Hello. Can you give me a plushie? Ooh, cactus would also be good, but honestly, I kind of want a plushie. What a deal. And look at we've got a little plushie. How adorable. Look at that little guy. It's so cute. Can I like place this down now? Oh, interesting. It places down like a bone block. <gasps> oh, I can put a little plushie by my bed. I love that. Also, where was that Enderman? I really want to uh, find an Enderman. I think it's on the other side of my house here. Oh, Enderman. Did you go in my house? Where are you? Hello? Oh, you went in there. Okay. Not gonna mess with you there. Okay. Let's put our plushie back in our house quickly. And we'll put... Where was the chest I had these in? Right there. Okay. Now that we've put the little experience orbs away... Look at that, we've got a little plushie by our bed. Oh, I love it, that's so cute. A little bull shark plushie. Big fan, I think that's adorable. I was gonna try to get that enderman just so that I could uh, start getting enough to make another waystone, but I didn't want to really like go underneath the ground. I wanted it to just like be at the surface, but it's literally just like lurking in this cave. Actually here, wait. Let's do this. One, two, three. I think we can make a little kill chamber where it can't get to me. And then I think we should be okay. So let's just do one more on this side. 
and I think we're safe. Let's just do one more out. I just want to get an Eye of Ender so I can start making more of those things. Look me in the eyes, my friend. I can see you. I just want to see your eyeballs. Yes. Ooh, here you are. Hi there, bud. How's it going? How are ya? Don't mind me. Just trying to get some extra... Some extra bits. Oh, I have a grass block. I don't have silk touch yet, so a grass block is wonderful. Now, guys, oops, at least I have another shovel. So what I can do is I can make a waystone, right? But I needed to make this little weird thing, which I can make with flint and this. And then we just need um, obsidian, right? And one more little emerald. But if we're by villagers, like that shouldn't be too hard. Once we get more diamonds, that shouldn't be too hard. So it'll be fun to have a secondary waystone. And then we can kind of use that as like, we'll keep it in our backpack, we'll travel with it, and it should be good. So that's kind of the idea that I wanted to have for like making an additional waystone, just to like keep it nice and, uh, you know, nice and ready for all of our travels and adventures. I think I saw iron. But are there also monsters? Um, let's just make some more torches real quick. Okay, just lots of glow lichen. That's fine. We're good with that. I just get very paranoid that I'm gonna have to deal with mobs in here, like I did with that one little, uh, creeper. Very out of the blue for them to show up. Nice, okay. We've got extra iron. We'll put a torch there. So slowly I'm preventing more places for little monsters to spawn on me. And now let's quickly smelt this up. Add that guy in there. I wanna figure this out so, so badly. I'm so curious, like it is so strange to me. And we've got some pebbles, which I think is kind of cute. But we'll just uh, leave those in here for now. Essence of calming. Do away with anger and strife. Stay calm. Calmness wears off if attacking. Oh, it's a, a bumble zone thing. Interesting. Okay. Would not have expected that. But that's, you know, that's, that's how it goes. Sometimes you get surprised. Well, that's pretty neat. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't want you guys around. Um, can I put your llamas in a boat? I want the leads. Boop. Thank you. And then we'll shear all of you. I just need to jump up here. Jump up here. I thought I just heard a wolf, and I really hope there's not a wolf around here, but I don't think there's a way for a wolf to, like, get at me. So, I'm okay with that. But now, we've got- we're getting our sails collected. I'm glad I decided to start working on that. Just because that'll help us so, so much. Okay. Now, we continue up here. Gotta collect all of these. And for now, oh, I did want to move the, the grass block and this calcite over. Alright, and then I won't need those anymore. And gravel. I think I'll just leave everything else and uh, it's, it's getting dark again. I feel like days are going by extremely quick. I'm also curious, what day are we on? We're on day 50. So we've had 50 days worth of adventuring and being in our new little fantasy place. And I really like it. And I'm very happy with what we got so far. But we still got, you know, lots of adventures ahead of us. Oops, I did not climb up the stairs. <laughs> I love how I have a little plushie by my bedside now. It makes me so happy. Ah, 
One thing I am very excited for is to uh, finally get like fully enchanted gear. Like vein, oh, I left the ax in there. Like fire proc, protection, pants, unbreaking three, that would be nice. Protection, blast protection. Oh, I wish I could get level 30 because these are like pretty decent. What about an ax vein mining? Honestly, I feel like vein mining is most helpful on a pickaxe. That's just my thought. Vein mining, efficiency. It is kind of cool that you can uh, reroll the enchants. Obviously, it takes like lapis and like experience, but if you have, like, if we find a spawner and can like make a decent setup, like, that's gonna be so nice. But for now, it's sun enchanted. I also like how I'm kind of in like a glass pane. It, it also kind of looks like I'm in like a box, like a little like fish tank. But I think it's kind of like a fun little like UI change. Kind of cool. Kind of neat. Okay, so as I was like looking at this and figuring out where I want this shape to be, this is supposed to be one, two, three, four, five. This is supposed to be on the side walls, three. So I accidentally uh, made this wrong because I forgot about one piece that I was going to be using. So, for example, if this is our one, two, three, four, five, I was going to then have on top of this some slabs like so. And then my sides, I was just going to have just like some like here. So I'm definitely not making this exactly how I made it. So I'm glad I'm kind of like going back over and through this because the shape isn't exactly what I wanted it to be and what I had like designed it to be. So I'm kind of just like going back over my uh, creative notes to be like, I really liked how I made it in creative mode, which is why I'm kind of like wanting to follow that more closely because especially with the roof, the roof was tricky and I really liked what I did. So that's kind of why I'm thinking we go about it that way, but then this would have been just like this on top. And then we would have been here. But then we would have only had... I'm looking at like one, two, three. So if we only have like three here... Right, and then the rest are kind of like, if this is the center, if this is true center, then these would not be here, which changes how the roof shape is going to look. So that's more so what I'm trying to like figure out, like, because I liked the shape that I had. So we're just going to kind of mess around with it and see what we end up with. Okay, so if there's three main ones. Then these kind of went around the sides here. <laughs> the wandering trader, hey, huh? what did you do? One, two, three, four. And we had, oh, our shovel did run out. What do you know? And five. And then this is one, two, three, four, and five. And then this just becomes one and two. Now, if I'm looking at the shapes right here, this is what I'm trying to figure out. Is then... We kind of have this coming in right here, but this is already three, so this wouldn't be here. Huh? 
And this should be three, like so. I think this is where I messed up. This is what confused me. Because then this would go right here. And this would be my little side bit. For four. And then... My stairs would go here. And then we go like so, and like so. And then, if I'm looking, that looks much better and much more like what I had in mind for this. Because it's just one little offshoot. So that is more so what it was supposed to look like. So... <laughs> Me figuring this out, I'm getting it, it's fine. We're figuring this out as we go. So we're gonna first get the roof shape looking how it was supposed to look, and then we'll fix all of this, you know? Sometimes you just do a little bit of trial and error. Like I've said many, many times before, it's just a part of it, you know? Sometimes I uh, mess up how I thought that I was gonna be building something. And then also with this, I decided to just like make this flat so that you don't really like notice anything. But we're gonna go get more spruce down here and we're gonna trim these friends again. And I think I got all of the wool. Looks like I did. So then put those back. Okay, now let's fix this. And then if this is the middle, so let's just do one, two, three, four, and then like so. If this, these are the main ones, this was the offshoot. And these are the ones we're going to fix. Because this is like the center block. So this should be three. Like so. And... This should be three. I like how the wandering trader's like, uh-huh, that should be three. Yep, you had it wrong. <laughs> it's kind of funny, right? Okay, so then this is at three as well. And that's what I wanted because we're going to have this tie onto the sides. And then this is the, the side block, right? This is the side block, one two and three okay so we're, we're figuring this out i should probably just go and get a bunch of like clay and stuff now and granite i feel like i'm gonna have to replace all of this anyways okay you know what we're gonna do we're going on an adventure i thought that me just like starting with the the wood wouldn't be much of an issue but I feel like as I'm trying to like put this together and it's looking differently than I initially like had it look, it makes more sense for me to just uh, start piecing this together now. So I say we uh, start doing that. Okay. So we're gonna do a sleep. Actually, let's just make a bed. I have my, okay, I do have another bed. Oops, I'm making this in the wrong order. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna waste on our way back to the village. I feel like we should be able to find granite over there, but we're gonna grab the wool too. So let's warp our way. Uh, main village. <gasps> Ooh, first time doing the the warping. Wow, there's there's little little people running everywhere, isn't there? Okay, now I know in some of these areas there were some wool just kind of hanging out. 
So let's find where those are. And I also feel like there was some granite nearby. So we can try to find some granite in some of these little spots. Let's just take a snooze under the stars. So, so pretty. I really love that we have waystones now, not gonna lie. Oh, hi there. Rupt. Trying to take my bed, I see. I will take these iron out of, of frames, so. though. Look at that. Wee! Wee! <laughs> it's kind of fun. Alright. I have to be careful not to bop these guys, because the iron golems are, like, right here, just, like, staring into my soul. Okay. Now, if I just do a little look-see... Mewm. Um, this looks like it's... Oh, schwist. Interesting. Interesting sounds. Okay, well, I'm not seeing any granite. I'm just being a little bit cheeky over here. No granites. Oh, here's granite. Okay, so... Heh. The big old cave has lots of granite. Of course. That's, that's fun. Yep, super fun. Just what I'm looking for. Alright. Well, I know that there was a little bit of brick over here. In some of these spots. I will take a stone cutter as well. Oh, obtain a stone cutter is a specific thing. Alright. And I think... Let's see. It's interesting that these bone blocks are things here. Like, what's this? Is this also bone block? Smooth quartz. See, they don't even use, like, smooth quartz for everything. Some of it's just bone blocks. Is there any brick down yonder? Not really. I was hoping maybe for some, like, exposed access to granite a little easier. But nothing seems easy, you know? This giant pit, though, seems like it is one of the more easy. But it's also the most scary. I want to figure out what this wind thing is that pops up every so often. It is interesting to me. Okay. So, even though this is quite like a pit, I think I'd rather run through here to get around places. Oh, I don't have my shield on me. That's a bummer. Okay. Diorite, though. We'll pick up some emeralds along the way. Always some iron. I feel like I can just, like, talk and be like, hello, hello, you know, it just, like, make a, a reverb echo type of a thing happen. Echo, echo. That's what I feel like I should be able to do. All right, there's two skeletons, but here's my theory, right? If I, oh, did one walk away? If I just light this up. Maybe I can just, like, yeet them from afar. How many arrows do I have? I have eight. Oh, okay. I guess I can't get you now. Like that's what you wanted or something. Alright, let's make some more fortress. Because this is going to be a nice area if I can light it up. Because there's diorite back there. There's all sorts of ores. So if I can light this up, like here's my, here's my, uh, 
my chosen material I was looking for. And if I can just get this lit up. So I don't got any bad guys coming for my life. We can have a good time. You know? Ooh. Owie. This blue stuff is interesting. I want to, like, grab some just to, like, look it up. Nice. That works. And we get more arrows back. yippee ki yippee ki yay That is a special day when we get more arrows. Now we have nine. Got one whole arrow more. We've got a bunch of torches down. I feel like this is a safer area now. Except right where I need to mine. It's fine. Literally right where I need to mine. What are the chances? All right, let me just eat some food before I try to take you on. I like see a, a zombie on the map. That works. Ooh, I see another one. Hello. Hey, come here, you goon. You think you can just come for me and I won't get ya? And now we run. Yep. No, thank you. We deal with you later. Ha. I win. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna go, like, further into here. Me, like, concentrating and just being quiet, you know? You know I'm, like, trying to get something done when I'm just, like, so, so quiet. Taking on the, the skeletons or what have you. Okay. Well, now we can get all of the granite that we need. And maybe we can find some clay in some of the riverbeds nearby i feel like that's probably our best chance oh i always get so afraid that i'm gonna end up finding like a a creeper or something which honestly maybe i should just like place my bed down just in the off chance right not that i'm gonna like die no, not like anything would ever happen to me but I, I, just in case <laughs> better safe than sorry right if a creeper sneaks up on me, even though I think I've lit this up, that's that's fine. I will make sure that I respond pretty quickly. I'm also curious if uh, when I die, if I'm going to have one of those like gravestone things. Because I feel like in modded, I find that. And I feel like I've seen that in better Minecraft, but maybe I'm wrong. But that would be something to, like, I would be curious to look into and just see if that's what's happening you know but i am glad like we have this village here because now i can just come through and like grab resources from here we could even have this be like an easier cave to go like actual caving for like diamonds and stuff just because we can get around more in here and we've got a stack we're collecting up even more I feel like if we get two stacks, I, I think that should be good. Because we're mostly just using this for 
some like regular blocks but then also a few stairs for the rim between the like bottom level of our windmill versus the top so i feel like those should be good once we get this nice okay one more for a full stack and there we go now it is starting to get dark can i sleep yet nope i am curious though let's do a little uh look see Ooh, i don't like that sound i don't know where you are but i don't like hearing a witch i do see it in the corner it's farther away from us but i'd rather not have to deal with one okay now this was the easier way to get back up so we're gonna go this way and i will grab some coal just because we always run out of coal we always use it i feel like in this better minecraft instance i'm finding way more coal i don't know if uh this is like a normal amount of finding coal i guess i'm like in a lot of mountains so maybe that's why it just seems like i'm finding more but this just seems like an odd oddly like consistent amount of just always finding coal you know like i don't think it should be this easy to find all the coal that i'm finding but i'll take it like I'm, I'm very happy with it and of course with all the iron that we find too like super helpful for us because we keep running out of iron pretty consistently but i feel like that's the one thing i keep saying like i always keep saying like we're running out of iron you know but that's because we're like building with unenchanted iron like we don't have unbreaking on anything which i feel like maybe i should just get some pretty basic enchants on some of my tools just so like even if it's not the best like it's something also what is this Oh, why? Do you sound like... This sounds like a weird glass. I don't know what I think of this. This is a weird... I don't, I don't think I like that sound. I don't know about you guys. Sh is it schist? What can you make? Oh, it's just a interesting uh, block variant. And this blue knight, that's kind of fun. Blue knight. Okay, so just a different type of building block. Okay, well, that, that, that's nice. That's kind of cool just to like see what else is out there, you know? I like that. Oh, and while we're here, we can shear some sheep that are running around. I also saw a piece of iron, so we will grab it, because why not? Okay, now we're going to, we have two stacks of granite. Now what I want to do is go over and grab the, let's see, I want to grab all the extra wool. So I think they didn't have any extra colored wool. But this place had some, and so did the other place. So, like, this place had the wool, right? So, let's, um... <laughs> the iron golem. I feel like, you know, I, I don't want to go walking all the way over there. I feel like let's just go back home. We can always come back. I guess I can't have anything in my offhand. There we go. My home. <sighs> Yay, we're back. Okay, now I've got more things to smelt, more things to put away. I feel like caving in this world is going to be so interesting. Once I finally... Oh, hello, it's frozen. Okay, sorry guys for the occasional lag. My PC is like computing what it needs to do and it didn't know what to do. Okay, so we've got two more emeralds, which is great. Love that for us. And these guys will go in there. Now we'll put all of these guys to smelt. 
and let's put the bones away. I think we need to start just creating a chest for just like mob drops. So we'll just make that be here. But then as far as like, I wanna have a chest be modded stone. So let's just have this one across from it be that. I feel like that'll be good. Perfect, okay. And then I did just place down the stone cutter, but I'm actually gonna bring it with me. I haven't made one yet and it will be very helpful to have over here. I feel like I'm going about making this uh, windmill in a very roundabout way. I wanted to like just start building so that I could get this top part done. But then I realized how I had kind of like not made it the same way I like meant to make it. Oh wait, cobbled versus granite? Hang on. Hello? Ooh, and then with brick. Interesting. I actually like those a lot. Let's do some more of those. Those look quite nice. Oh, there's so many more variants. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Mossy. Ooh. Some overgrown vibes. Let's see what this looks like. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I want that on this build, but it's cool. Kind of fun just to explore what the options are. I will say I do like the cobbled granite. I think let's do some just regular granite stairs. And then we'll also do some of this cobbled. All right, so now uh, let's actually build. So we're doing five. We are gonna mix more brick in. I just need to go like get brick. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna put these right here. Two, three, and four. Okay. This will be good. And four. One, two. Two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Then I can pick up all of the wood as I go. Three, four. This is, oh, I think this is accidentally five. There we go. Now one, two, three, four. And then we'll just get this down. I feel like once I get this in place, I'm gonna feel a lot better about just like actually having this, the, the right block materials. Sometimes my brain just like, this is why sometimes builds take me a while. Like I feel like sometimes I can whip out a build so quickly, but then other days it just like takes me way longer because I'm just like trying something and then I don't like it and then I like, find something in creative and then when i start building it in survival i'm like this is not turning out how i had in mind like what is going on then i have to like problem solve to figure out like okay like what parts did i kind of uh do differently that are making it look one two three and four uh but making it look like i'm not how i didn't want it to be you know and i feel like today is no exception that is definitely what's happening one, two, three, four, and five. Like right now, I feel like I'm just kind of uh, making it look a little silly. This doesn't need to be there. There we go. And that doesn't need to be there.
I also like how it just kind of uh, kind of blends into the next block. Like this is a granite block, but it kind of like blends. I think it's really nice. I think it looks really good together. There we go. We have one more. Perfect. Okay. So now this is done. And now we can grab all of the granite and make sure that this is good to go. Now I do have a bunch of these, so let's put some of these in my offhand. And it is getting dark again. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll go around this edge. There we go. And then we'll come around this edge. And fix this one. And fix this. Perfect. Can I round this is the question. There we go. Okay. Now when I'm looking at this, that is that is the shape that I had. So I wanted to have some slabs above this, just a little bit. And that already feels so much better. <laughs> I am kind of bummed that I already am like running out of granite. I thought I would have enough, but this at least gives me like a better idea of what I want to be doing. And I'm gonna just start sleeping in here now that we actually like have a second bed because of our sheeps. Then we don't need to run back around a ton, which is good. So, okay. Now that I kind of have a better idea of the shape of this and this being three, now this is the middle, right? So then one, two, and three. And then that goes like so. And this is gonna like come in around because this is going to be part of this whole thing like this. See, and then just covers that up. And then this is all the way to uh, what we had it at, you know? So let's make a stone shovel real quick, because why not? I think we need more sticks. And there we go. And our axes, we do have one more axe, so that's good. But now, with that in our off hand, this is one... Let's move this. And then one, two, three. We got that one. These go away. Right here. We'll take care of those later. And then we take care of this. Now we actually like have this where I want it to be. And this is just gonna be like a secrety spot, but we're just gonna fill this in. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Because this is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or am I doing this wrong? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. We covered that up. The moo moos are mooing. So this is our floor level. So now 
this is where it gets interesting. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's at six. That's at six. And then we fix this as well on the sides. One, two, three, four, five, and then we move to the side, five and six. Perfect. Now we just jump down. Okay, now let's see how this is looking. I feel like honestly six is a good height like usually I'll go up by seven all the time but you know I'll go up by four here we can go up by six here it's really just the roof sides that you want it to be like an odd just so it looks you know more uniform as you build roofs and things But now, I'm kind of thinking we need to move this forward one. So we might move Mr. Cow here. But this is one, two, three. Actually, this could work just fine. Because then... This would just turn. Me just processing out loud and then this goes right here okay yeah that's that's all i needed to do i just needed to rearrange it a bit cool okay so for now this is good we just need another cow so we've got this kind of figured out now as far as what this wall is going to look like it is going to be just like a solid wall of our spruce just to make it look a bit nicer and I did think about maybe even like filling this all the way in just so it looks kind of more uniform like that but we need to get our uh, our cow in there so that's also gonna change how things look but I think this will look really nice like we can have little shelves here and we can have some shelves here right we're just like putting things on I think it'll be great and then we'll have little, little, you know, slabs for some drawers and things. So that'll look nice. So then we just need to, uh, you know, finish making this. I might also change this out to be spruce just because then this will all blend in as a wall really well. But for now, the thing that we need to figure out and fix is going to be the roof. And I do need more granite so we can finish the stairs like this. And I can access granite here, but that uh that vein in the village is also kind of convenient, but let's uh let's go back to fixing the roof. And uh, let me just see about replacing these stairs really quickly just to make it look a bit nicer. Are you mooing, Mr. Cow? Oops, wrong one. Okay. And we'll change that out. Change that out. And this is where I don't want the cow to get out. Okay, nice. Yeah, that is so much better. Oh my goodness. I love that. And then we can have one of these crafting tables. Be, um, there's two sides here, so maybe we just like leave it here. And then we'll just take some of these slabs, replace those. And let me just see about something quick. I think I wanna just like 
replace this. There we go. So now I feel like that looks way better because this all blends in really well, but still allows us to fully climb up to the top. I like that way better. That's actually super nice now. And then let's just put the crafting table back there. Sure, I like it. Okay, for now, we close the door, we switch our, we switch our focus back. See, you know, we've been uh, trying to figure out how to make this roof work, and it started by needing to figure out how to make the, the actual build work. <laughs> But this is the thing that's going to be kind of weird. So we have to remove a lot of this. Because since we changed the shape to be three instead of five, we only need these three to be here, right? So that's going to change this a bit. I feel like this is like its own thing. Like roofing with red. Minecraft roofing with red is just an ordeal. But we do have some nice rain vibes again, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus on getting this done. And even if we go through the night, I think we're just going to enjoy some peaceful rain vibes all the way through until I get this roof done. So I hope you just enjoy listening to the rain vibes. We'll get some calm music on for you guys and we can just enjoy, you know, the uh, more relaxing part of my little long play here and less of the adventuring parts but enjoy just some rainy minecraft building vibes as i finish fixing my roof so that it doesn't leak anymore
we had some nice overnight rain vibes with a, a stray spider that uh, came for our lives. But we got some XP nuggets and some classic spidery things. But we're just finishing this up. Slowly but surely, we're making this work. We're getting it done. And I think it's going to look really nice when we're done. A lot of these... Uh, taller ones, like these two tall ones, we're going to be placing some trap doors on them. And those Sakura trap doors, I think, are my favorite. I, I believe I may have shown these off before, but the trap doors are just so pretty. So let me see. This is what they look like. So they've just got some, like, kind of cherry blossom peach coloring to them, kind of like a thatching, and then a little gold little handle and I really like them so we're uh we're adding those trap doors over some parts here and I think it'll look really nice so that's the part that we're going to be working on next once I finish getting all of these in place I will say working on like more ornate roofs like this is definitely uh making me feel the uh, the tiredness factor um so I think here i literally just went like this i just filled it in and then we put a we're gonna put a little fence post in here so then we've got some sticks but we need more let's use some of the oak and then put those in the middle put some there put some there and i think six should be good now let's go walking around Place those there. Place that there. And then place that there and that there. Place those there. Right like that. All right. And this is what the roof is so far. The roof is going to get taller from here just because we're going to be adding in some more uh, stairs and slabs and things. So that will be nice. But these meet up. And then we're going to place another little uh, trap door here. So this is kind of where these go in. Or not trap door, excuse me. We're gonna place more of these fence posts. So I actually will need more than I thought I would, which is fine because we just take more like so. Put them there. And then those go right here in between. And then we then make these too tall. So this kind of like just gets filled in pretty much. And I need more of these in my inventory. So then if I look a little bit further back, we've got from this angle, we've got some trap doors that are going to go on both flat sides of here and the tops of these, so that'll look really cool. And then we're also going to do the same thing here with trapdoors. And then at the top, that's where we're going to be putting more stairs and then some more trapdoors. So next, we can take these and go like pop, pop. Oops, that did not work, did it? Nope. There we go. Like so. And like so. Now we've got the stairs, and then we put the, the full block, and the final stair. And this will have trapdoors around it as well. So that is what the roof is going to look like. So let's just take a step back. So that's our, our roof. And now's the fun part of just adding in all of the, uh, the trapdoors onto it. Which, the interesting thing about trapdoors in modded is they can simultaneously close but then if I'm trying to only close certain ones it kind of gets in the way and like the ones I want to stay a certain direction will all of a sudden uh kind of change direction so 
Okay. So, I th I'm trying to like think what I wanted to do here. So right here. This is going to be a stair. I think this is going to be one lower. Now that I'm like thinking about it. Because if this goes one lower, I'm like looking in my, uh, my offhand. If this goes one lower, like so. Like this. Then this would allow me to get what my picture looks like, which is these two right here, looking like so. I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna lower it. So then that means that these get dropped a little bit. And these get dropped a little bit. So then we go like so. And like so. Oh my gosh, this is... Come on, just work for me. Work, please. Oh my lanta. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Goodness gravy. So then, if this was gonna be like that, these would come into play here. These would come into play too. Like so. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then we lower these down. Oops, this one. Making roofs, always, always an interesting time, you know? And then this goes here. And then these trap doors can go there. Oops, I need to not be shifting. There we go. Then these can go there. Where are you? Hello? No. There we go. I was like, this isn't adding up. And these go like so. Because then I can get these as full blocks and these as full blocks. There we go. And then around the edge, we add this in. And go like so. These get changed out. This also gets changed out. These go like so. Then we have these going in here. Wait, I can play sticks? <gasps> what? Oh my goodness. I'm, what? <laughs> okay, I just learned something new without even really trying to learn something new. That's crazy. What on earth? That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Funny things like that where you're just like, you learn things on the fly. You're like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is an option now, I guess. And then this goes down. See, I like how they go together, but when I'm trying to do the top ones, that's, it gets problematic. So I'm just gonna go around and do the ones where I have to kind of like, start with them like this, that I have to flip to close. Those are the ones I'm starting with. Because that will just make things much, much easier. Okay, so we've got all of these going the right direction. So this is good so far. Now this goes here. This goes here. These all get brought down. 
wrap down right there. It's looking good so far. This is more so what I was uh, imagining this would be. Okay, and then I guess we'll just use... No. No. <laughs> it's just like not letting me like place the blocks. Can I place this here, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and then that goes there. Now we're going through a different night, so I need to start being careful because I really don't want to deal with phantoms getting me. Oh, and since we're coming around to the front, I'm not going to worry too much about this. Um, what I will change is how this gets placed. Just so that it aligns. And then same on this other side. We're on the bottom slab. So let's just fix that. Okay, perfect. So now we've got our roof. And now it's literally just, uh, we're going to go inside and sleep. Because we can. We're at that point where the roof is pretty much done. It's just the trap doors. So we're going to go inside our place. Once we collect up all of our little bits and bobs we need all of these things gotta save the resources right i think for the most part though i feel like we got it just some of them are gonna be around on the floor as well that we need to grab and we'll just grab those as we jump down okay i feel like we got most of them i'm, I'm, I'm feeling good about that yeah Okay, this is coming along. What's nice about this area is even though it's small, once we actually get to the decorating part, it's not going to take us that long. So the main thing that we're just working on is just getting this built. And once we're there, you know, we're there. And there's not going to be like a whole lot up here either. This is going to be kind of just a, where I have like some shelves like these, just around like so. That's kind of, like, largely what's going to go up here. We'll have some, like, shelves and different things. And I think I want to have the roof um, be this material as well. But I don't think I can do that. Hmm. Okay, maybe we just bring it down one. Oops, I don't need this here. So let's just do that. We'll bring the roof down one. Because this doesn't need to be like a super tall build for this. But yeah, I think that's good. It's still tall, but not like overly tall. And then I have to keep the, uh, the edges open because they need to have some of the... Uh, I need to make sure that this is going to be underneath this all oh i didn't fix this side yet i have to fix that because it's supposed to be up in the air a little bit so i have to fix that that's why this uh looked fine and had spruce on the inside but look at that we've got our little tower so far so good now let's get some shears i need to remove these from my inventory because this is what we get <laughs> Hello, little sheepies. Hello, hello. All right. I think we'll do one more set of breeding. If I can get out. Hello. Carpet work. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay. So I think this should be a, a good start. We're probably going to need more than just this. But this should be good for now. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to go kind of wandering off and collect a bunch of Sakura. I, ever, I never know if I'm, like, saying that right. Also, this birch forest just kind of changed colors, I feel like. There's seasons in this world, right? That's a thing, isn't it? Set time to day, night, toggle, rain, game mode. I think I left the, like, I can toggle things off and on just so that, like, if I want the rainy vibes or non-rainy vibes for different, like, 
screenshot purposes, like I could change things, but the grass flock is even changing. I feel like, can we make a calendar? Because I feel like I should use a calendar. Oh my gosh, there's a calendar. Whoa, dragon scale. Ah, that's cool. It's currently fall, look at that. Oh, if we make a clock. Oh my gosh, wait, we're gonna have all the seasons. So let's make a clock really quickly. I kind of like the idea of having a clock anyways. And if we can like tell what time of the season it is, because I definitely remember this not being this dark of a color. Also, <laughs> what a chunk border that is. Literally perfectly on the chunk line. That's hilarious. I didn't notice that before. It almost seems like some of the biomes are impacted by like seasons and some of them aren't, right? Cause this, I don't think was this color before, but there's a very strong line of that. Very interesting, but let's make a little calendar. It's kind of fun. I can have a calendar by my bed. Like how cute is that? Okay, so clock goes first and I, th what was it? Was it just this? Yes, okay. And then we need paper. Define where I placed paper though. I think I moved it upstairs. Let's put these back. And I also need more food. So we, uh, we grab more. We grab the bread. Okay. Now, I, I feel like I'm just like getting distracted by like the little things just cause it's so fun. All right, and then, so it was like so, and I think it was like that. <gasps> yes, look at this. Okay, now what do I do with this? <gasps> Quest completed. Wait, craft a calendar. How do I go to my quests? <gasps> okay, click. To start, click. Click me. <gasps> I get bread. Yes. Okay, Um. what, what else do I click? Oh, okay. Inventory, click, view the recipe. I can make bread. A quiver? <gasps> I just got a quiver, hello. Okay, quests. Click me, reward. Tasks are things that need to be done to complete a quest. So if a task is an item, click on it and it will show you the recipe. Rewards are when you go, okay. So I can click on the recipe to make things. All right, well, I already have that. And then I just click on this. Read description. R while hovering over an item is the recipe. So if I do R, nothing's happening. U while hovering is uses. Left alt, alt to crawl. I think I changed um, my keybinds. Press B with a backpack. Yeah, I changed some of these. But that's cool. You know, we'll, we'll click the check mark. Okay. Read description. Roughly enough items. At the bottom of the inventory, there's a search bar. Yep. Uh, if you type wood, okay. Yep. Put an at. And it's the mods. I do know that. Yes. So let's get an XP level. And now check. Okay. The tutorial is now finished. More quests. Oh, we get handbooks and seasonal compendium. Ooh. To view the rest of the quests, leave this quest screen and put your cursor to the left of the main quest page where the arrow is. Oh, oh wow, loud, loud noises. I apologize. So now we get a handbook and we get a biome traveler's best friend. <gasps> That's fun. So then, oh, oh my. Okay, yeah. Seasonal things. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, a Santa hat, scarves. Oh my gosh, a bundle. Fill it with snowballs and fight your friends or mobs, a sled. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for these things. It's going to be so fun. Miscellaneous, craft a frayed backpack. Oh, I get iron for this. Don't mind if I do. Allows. Oh, I made an, uh, a, a waystone so we get items. Tells you the current, okay. We get melon seeds. Dude, this is, this is great. Some stone, love that for us. Can I like, is there more scrolling? 
This is cool. When worn as in the ring slot, 75 of the experience you get, 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 will be transferred into an XP book. Stores up to 30 levels. Oh, interesting. Oh, this is kind of fun. Okay, well, I'm excited for this. Kill a mammoth, an amethyst golem, a desert rhino, a summoner. During the thunderstorms, oh my gosh. The night lich, oh, I've heard, I've seen that in different mod packs, terrifying. A void blossom. I don't know if I want to attack these things. Oh gosh, oh gosh. These are all like bosses. Um, um. The other side, excuse me. Craft a warden helmet, kill a warden, oh boy. Oh boy, wait. Oh, no way, the other side before lighting the portal. Oh my gosh, this is the, the portal that's in the ancient cities. I can light these in modded. Oh, that is amazing, what? Okay, I'm getting distracted. Red, you're getting distracted. Calendar can go right there. How do I know what season it is? Can I click on this? Can I have it? I feel like I need to just like leave this in my inventory. Cause like, how do I know what season this is? I don't think I know what season this is. Well, we know it's fall, right? So it's fall, a quiver though, and these books. All right, we're distracted, but we're looking, okay? Let's look at these books. It's lagging, I opened it. Hello? Let's try the handbook, okay. Ooh, wow, okay. Um, it tells us about different altars. Oh, I can mark things, okay, info. Not related to the mod sentences because I like to do that. Okay, okay. Items a dragon saddle. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Mobs. Oh, <gasps> whoa, these are cool. They're in geodes. They don't like the human race, they just profit off of their amethysts. Oh, it will rage when you destroy the amethyst. Oh my gosh. Desert rhino. Oh wait, it's aggressive and will run to hit you with its horn. It's kind of cute though, I have to kill it? What's a mammoth? I have to kill this for a quest? I don't want to complete those quests. An orc? Nice, orcs will roam your world. If there's a bigger orc around, they will try to gather together. Smaller orcs will try to rob a tool from you and run away. Oh, what a sneaky little guy. Iguana. Friendly mobs, dead bushes. Okay, so not all of these are like bad. An ender whale. Oh, wow. They're rideable. <gasps> oh my gosh, if I get an ender flute, I can ride a whale. These are so fun. Okay, this is like my special chest, okay? We're gonna keep all our special things here. Now, what's this quiver? In the trinket slot? I have to, like, figure out where it's a trinket slot. Oh! Wait. Equipable in the trinket slot? How do I, like, fill the trinket slot? Okay, well, that's kind of a fun little thing to figure out. Um, for now, we'll just leave that in here. I have no idea what to do about that. But these are kind of fun things, right? Like, I think it's cool that we have these options. Very fun. Also, I'll, I'll take you getting more iron. That's wonderful. We're almost at, uh, we're getting closer to having 30 levels, which makes it even better. So that's really cool. I'm happy about that. Um, and then let's grab, put that away. Seeds will kind of make their own little drawer, rice. I would say is like a seed, you know? That's kind of neat. I'll bring the lanterns and the pots with us. I think I'm gonna sleep through the rain just because I don't want to deal with any uh, mobs coming after me. So we're just gonna snooze. 
Okay, and now I need a lot more of the Sakura wood, and I don't think I have enough. So, like I was mentioning, we are going to go adventuring. Because we don't also have a lot of flowers either, and I wanted to have flowers just to kind of uh, have some fun with, uh, you know, decorating the pot and plants. So... We're gonna go out with our axe. Maybe we should make a new axe really quick. I always forget I put the, uh, the crafting table at the end. Shovels here. And let's make a sword. Because we can. Ooh, we'll make a knife. Hunt and gather. Craft a knife to scavenge extra goods from plants and animals. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, the knife I'm keeping in the kitchen for now because I, that just makes sense in my brain. But these guys, I feel like this should be good. So let's put all of our little iron back and. We're gonna go collect more sakura because I need trapdoors. <laughs> I need a lot of trapdoors. And we're gonna pick up some little uh, plants and flowers along the way. And let's go grab our chest, actually. Oh, wait, the temporary... Wait, the temporary things went away. I need to remember where my little uh, thing was. It was right around here, though. So let's just put a temporary whiteboard. I wonder how long those last. Interesting. I that I didn't know that was a thing. But that is good to know. I'm now aware. Alright, I only have four arrows, so I have to keep this in mind. If anything wants to come and hurt me, I need to keep that in mind. You only have four arrows, you can't go very far, so be careful what you do. Oh, and I also want to make sure that... When I'm collecting up the wood, I can replant the flowers. I'm definitely hearing some skellies. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted the flowers because then I can replant as I go. Okay. That way I don't feel as bad about just like needing to kind of like tear down uh, our little fields of, you know, sakura trees. And then come back up here. I love the particles that these leave. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm a big fan. I wish the sakura trees would, uh, you know, give me more wood as a result of chopping down a tree. I feel like I'm gonna just need to like chop down so many of these just to get like a decent amount, right? All I want is extras. I think I saw a little lizard. Yeah, there's a little lizard. So cute. I really like that there's all these little animals. It's fun. Okay, now let's go over here and go back to my bridge. And we collect flowers as we go. Am I still wearing my backpack? I am. So let's put all these flowers in here. It is nice to have the backpack, but I also feel like, you know, we kind of uh, don't really need it a whole lot right now. I think we just have to go on the other side of here. There we go. Ooh, it's another sheepy. Hello, buddy. Hello. We're collecting more carrots. Okay. Oh, look at it. I really like that the biomes kind of change as the seasons change. Like, that is for sure something I have realized is a thing and I think is really fun. I also like that there's just, like, random logs, like, fallen down and fallen over. I think that's also a really fun thing to have added. 
but let's go get back our little chest. And I think the only use of Sakura we still have and need is trapdoors. So as long as like we can get a decent amount, we'll be good. Oh, I love the flowers. They're so pretty. Ah. <sighs> I'm really enjoying modded. I feel like if you're kind of just like getting a little bit like tired of regular Minecraft, trying something like modded could be a really nice thing because it's still Minecraft, you're still building, but the fact that you have these like quests that you can do is just really fun. Like you get all these different things, you know, that you can check off your list collect all the rewards, like all these different things. There's just so much to do. So it's like a really nice little thing to have access to. Hi, little dude. All right, now let's go this way. And like just the fact that there's like new biomes to explore, like new things like that, like it's just really cool. I'm excited to just like continue exploring in this world building out our area, maybe like building in new areas because we have the waystones, so that makes it really convenient. All right, there's our chest. So how do I delete maps? Confirm deletion. Okay, sweet. Oh, it's a shell. How do I pick it up? Oh, wow, that sounded crispy. Um. Oh, I don't know what I think of this. Um, I like that there's shells. Tangerine shell, opaline shell. What do I do with the shells, though? I feel like I'm, like, cracking something, but I don't know if I am or not. It's just a little bit suspicious. I'm also bringing more sugarcane back and uh, wild flax. Can I, like, shear the wild flax? Oh, that's fun. What's ironic is I literally just um, collected up a bunch of stuff right before I needed to not fill up a bunch of stuff, you know? But like, okay, the twigs, we can make these sticks. But like, I literally just came down here so that I wouldn't, uh, you know, have to worry about all these extra things in my inventory and like needing to come back here but i literally have to come back here anyways so it's kind of funny because i just keep adding stuff into my inventory but you know it's fine we can um we can come back nothing saying we can't uh let me just look at these and prioritize them okay um i feel like the lanterns i want to come back with me so i'll leave some shells and I want the chains, so we'll leave carrots, we'll leave the willow, little guys there. And I think we'll be fine for now. I do also need to make sure I, like, get back up. Oh, here's some clay. <gasps> bricks, 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 bricks. Get rid of that. We're here for the bricks. Oh, I just picked it up again. Okay. There we go. Now we can just collect this. It's also interesting how like the sound is deafened underground. I don't know if you've kind of noticed that as well, but it seems like sound is like deafened when you're in the water, right? I'm glad this went away. Oh, okay. Never mind. E. I thought I was like. Thought I was not underwater, but you know, clearly I was wrong. I made a pocket, an air pocket, so that's why I'm confused. I thought I was in my air pocket that I created, but I guess not. Um, let's get rid of this. And I'm drowning again. It's fine. Oh my gosh, I almost drowned. <gasps> That's not good. Get the bread in the inventory. Three hearts. My goodness. I needed to eat before I went back down. Hello. 
me just being reckless and I don't have my bed on me so we do need to be like quick about this okay we're, we're getting it and we're getting our clay there we go oh wait what is hello what is what are these little things a squid what how do i i'm i'm confused by that i don't know exactly how to feel about that uh, i'll take the ink though i guess i'll have to look at this other thing now i'm very interested i'm intrigued how on earth do i have a full-on squid uh, can i make sushi like, it just appeared. <laughs> Speaking of uh, appearing, I think I shall appear back at my campsite. Oh, it's a duck egg or something. But we're gonna run our way back up to our home. Oh, and there's blue jays, right? Oh, they're so cute. <gasps> oh, their little beaks and toes are just adorable. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna start like putting down some torches as I go just so that I can kind of like safely find my way up and there's not as many like oh boy bad things spawning and getting me okay we're fine everything's fine we're just gonna put some of these down so I don't get attacked the wind is spawning. Also a little spoopy. If something spawns on this, that's kind of scary too. This is a very precarious bridge, but let's eat some food before we go too far. I need to make sure my hearts go up. Okay, we're close to home. Oh, and there's fireflies. I love that. Alright, so there's a zombie, I think. Or maybe they're underground. I feel like I'm trying to look at the mini-map to see where the bad... I keep on calling them bad guys. <laughs> where all the mobs are, right? Oh, nice. I was being followed by them. Don't want that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Thank you. Not interested. Not interested at all. Close that door and go up your stairs to safety. That's a little scary. Not what I wanted. Okay. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, I'm gonna run for it. I don't see them. Okay. I'm doing some quick spinning action just to make sure that none of them are gonna follow me. And then we're gonna go get all our clay smelted up so that we can make more bricks. There we go. I'm very curious. Um... I don't even know what this full-on squid is. Like, that's so interesting that there's just a full-on squid. <laughs> like, hello? What? I don't understand, but also kind of cool, I suppose. We're gonna bring these over. And then... We'll leave this clay here, too. But I feel like uh, the amount that we got for cicada wood should be okay. It's just us getting a lot of the trapdoors. That's really like the main thing we need to do. And I just want to make sure those creepers aren't there anymore. I also love how these rose bushes are just so pretty. And they're just like different colors when you place them. They're, like pinks and different things. It's kind of cool. I mean, some of them are different colors. Some of them stay the same. Okay. But now, the final bits of decorating. More of the fun things. Alright. Now, for now... We're gonna shear all our little friends. There we go put these away okay and then i'm just gonna put some of these things in there as well 
I keep on like being paranoid that I'm gonna find some creepers hanging out in the back. But I feel like at this point, they're not gonna come around. But let's just make a bunch of these, a bunch of trap doors. Grab those, 20 should be good, but let's make a few more. Just to be on the safe side. And then we can pillar up with our dirt, but I think we're just gonna add to this. Are they still on there? Okay. Let's hop back up here. I like how this is just like slowly just getting like more and more of like a staircase little by little. Put those there. Put those there. Oh, and this I didn't change yet. Mm -hmm. So get these back in my offhand. And stare. And the full blocks. There we go. Alright, and then this next one goes like so. Oops, wrong with that one. And then this one, this one, that one has, okay, both of these have it, so that's just this one. So that's how it's going to look, and then I just need to place them on the top as well. So that's kind of like the last bit. But I needed to make sure that I could just place these straight up and it wouldn't be annoying because I was having issues where I would like place these but then if I like moved some of these around it would just create more issues and it looks like I need more of these so that's fine these are so expensive like oh yeah oy. I just can't believe how expensive trapdoors are in like any wood type I feel like they're just so expensive okay I think I got it so that is how the roof looks in final. I think it's really cool. I think it's really pretty. Now the next thing we're gonna do is add slabs on the bottom here to like fill in these gaps, you know? So that's what we're gonna do next. And then we're gonna start working on creating the, the windmill aspect of it. So that's kind of the next step is just working on that. And I think it'll be really nice. I'm trying to like get some pictures that I have of my windmill just so I can kind of remember how I in creative mode made it. But I, I think it's nice. I think it's pretty. I'm glad I finally got it how I wanted it to be, you know. Took, a, took us a bit. Now you understand when I say I don't like roofs. Because like I was trying to just like work ahead but it ended up causing me more issues. Just like taking me longer. And sometimes I feel like I complicate things, like just keep it simple, you know, it doesn't need to be anything too crazy. So if you ever feel like you're kind of like feeling stuck with something, like you can, you can slow it down, you can make it be however you want it to be, like you don't need to do anything specific. So never feel like you have to like be pressured to have it look a certain way or anything like that. All right. Now, we make a windmill. Oops, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't want to pillar with the wool. I wanted to pillar with the dirt next to it. Okay, perfect. Now, as far as where, so this is, so if I go down, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the part where if I wanted it to be fully even, that I would make this seven tall. But I kind of wanted this to be like higher up since we're adding this in in the front as well. So if we're doing one, six, let's do one, two, three, four. And then let's put this on the fourth. So there's three here and two here. 
And then let's see here. I'm gonna look at the screenshots that I have of like the side profile of it and see what I decided to do with it. So looking at this, I kind of made a the offshoot from that. Okay, and that went all the way around it. Okay, so then let's check on something. Now, when I say check on something, I mean I literally just uh, quickly go into my other world and just double check to see how I built this to make sure I built it, build it how I want it to be. So that's literally what I will do sometimes. So I'll just do a quick check. And that's often what I do. Like even when I'm making let's plays, even when I'm doing long plays or just any video types, and like practicing builds, I'm always checking to see like, okay, do I actually like how this is looking? Is this how I had everything like positioned? Did I do this incorrectly? Like I'm always checking to make sure like I'm making this look how I wanted it to look. And sometimes I've got it perfectly and other times I don't. So I think uh, if you're working in creative mode and also in survival, I think it's totally valid to kind of just like check to see where things are at. And if you like how you're making something look, if you don't like how you're making it look, like you can always just test things. Or if it's like, I want to try something in survival, but I'm not sure if it's going to work and I don't want to like put the effort in for it to not work. I would always say, you know, try it in, try it in creative mode and see if it works. So that's usually what I do if I'm like building a farm that I'm not sure about. Or just something like that. Okay. So we have one. Oh, hang on. This one wasn't supposed to go like this. So let's bring this down. And we're gonna go like so. So this goes over and up, over and up. Oh, that did not work. So then there's three bumps here and it goes like this. This one's supposed to aim more downwards. So this one is one, two, one, one. So this is one, like that. And this one, we go like so. And then we're gonna add some extra kind of like wool below it too and I think it will make it look really nice but this is what we got right now so we've got a little zigzag a zigzag a zigzag one two three four five six oops and maybe we'd want a free cam And maybe we make it a little bit bigger. No, I feel like this was good. Let's just leave it like this. And then we're gonna go to sleep before anything gets us. I also need to get another cow. That is still uh, uh, something I need to work on. Also, I'm curious if we have lassos in this game. Lass... Lasso. I don't think so. Lots of glass. <laughs> Lots of glass is popping up, but not a lasso. Because I'd love to be able to just, like, collect a mob in a lasso or a net. And then just, like, have it, uh, you know, kind of just stay around me. 
and I can bring it through the different, um, like, wave stones. That would be nice. But I'm not sure if that's possible, you know? Oh, wait, why did that appear? Hello? I'm confused. What is... What is this? Why? <laughs> what the heck is this there for? Bizarre. Okay. So, uh, let's do... This. And then this one, we do here. And then below it. So now, when I look back, this looks already way more like a windmill. So if you're ever trying to figure out like how to make a windmill look better, just put a second row behind it. I feel like that's probably the best way to make it actually like work really well. It does require more wool, so if you don't have a lot of wool, like you can keep it simple or just like instead of doing ones that are kind of like crooked, you could just like do ones that are straight, you know? There's there's options. But lots of fun little options to try. Oof, this is getting a little, a little messy. Okay. And... Maybe I do add this. And then I do have to make sure I get rid of the, the dirt. And then the last bit is just up here. Eight should definitely be enough for this as well, which is good. So then we go like so, oops, in my face. One more up like that and now let's get a front view look at our little windmill it's so cute ah and then we can put some like crop fields around it which honestly i pr probably start working on the crop fields thing just so that i end up actually um getting some crops growing by the time i'm done with all of the like oh no Owie. <laughs> yep, too far of a jump there. That's what you get. Sometimes you just like watch yourself fall and you're like, mm, yep, this is this is my life now. This is what we're doing. <laughs> okay, we're just hopping up. I did the whole jump thing for a bit, but not super worth it. Okay. Um, hello? Hello? Where did you come from? Hello? My, uh, oh, that was strange. Do I have an arrow in me? I don't. I literally saw in the, the, like, this corner subtitles thing, it said, like, a skeleton arrow? Oh. Yeah, you. <laughs> that makes sense. I was staring at it. I was like, where is this thing? And I literally was staring at it. Okay. Well, that's that's why you didn't burn. Wait, you're in a lily pad. You should be burning. <laughs> oh, the timing of that. That was hilarious. It just like all of a sudden like combusted. Just go on.
some plants, some wheat fields growing, some potato fields, start some of that process. So that's what I'm gonna do next. So we're gonna kinda just fill in some of this. And then we'll be a little bit closer to being fully done with our project here. Also, if you ever notice like random points where I just like quickly seem like I'm pausing, it is because for whatever reason, I am sneezing up a storm. Like I feel like I'm sneezing every 10 minutes. So if ever I pause, it's because I'm sneezing. So all of a sudden you just don't hear a red sneeze right in your ears. <laughs> so that is why I'm uh, randomly just pausing it. If you're ever like, what is going on? <laughs> that is that is literally what's happening. <laughs> I'm just sneezy. And I don't have, like have allergies, but like I'm just sneezing a ton. And like I was sick uh, last week. So I'm curious if just like my nose is still a little bit runny and sneezy. And like that's what I'm dealing with. But it is kind of like, I don't mean to be like pausing it all the time. If you're like noticing that and like what's going on. It, it, it's literally what's happening so i hope that uh it's not too interruptive i feel like it's not but i i could be wrong and if you're curious what's going on that would be your reason okay so we're just going to fill in these more Yeah, usually I'm not like, my nose isn't like super like sneezy, I don't have allergies, but maybe, you know, you can always get something, so who really knows? Alright, so we're gonna need to go get a water bucket as well, because part of this cow farm is needing a water bucket. But I think I just want to start getting some of these um, fields in. And getting all of our dirt now I also want to add some I'm gonna add some leaves inside here and do a little bit more of the decorating. So on the inside we're just gonna do some decorating and make it all cute. I think I like the idea of having a lot of flowers that are yellow being in there with the dandelions. I think that just sounds super cute just because like I mean, we have hay bales that are going in here. We're going to have some yellow flowers. Like it just fits in my mind. But we'll add some, maybe some white ones in there. But for the most part, on the shelves and things, I want to have a lot of just the hay bales. And make it look really cute with the, uh, those. Obviously, we're going to fix some of these roof leaks. And some of that is going to be fixed by adding a little, like, edge around here. But we can add some Sakura shells across the top. And then we can do some flowers here. We can do some flowers here. Like so. We can have a bunch of chests here as well. I think that would be good. So where did I put that? We can have some chest space. So we can add that in here. So let's uh, move this back a little bit. And then we can have the stair moved back and put that right here. And then have some of these guys, which actually I think I'm gonna swap these ones. These cause I can have like a full block. Oops, I can have a full block be here. This be the top and then this will be the stair. And then that way we can put some chests, we can have like a hay bale, 
and we can have some more chests which because they're stairs they don't really uh they can still work just fine as a chest which is cool and then uh, we've got this we can put that one there i'm gonna leave that the way it is just so we can still get these open but then we can have like a hay bale here we can have some hay bales on the floor and I think I'm gonna move our crafting table and then we can just have some hay bales there too. Now, I think, let's put the crafting table here and then we can put a little, we could put one of these there, but I think I like just a solid piece because then it kind of like looks similar or maybe we just match it. There's options, right? That's the thing, there's always options. And then we can do some like shelves over here and do some wheat up there. I really like having the yellow flowers. I think it just adds so much. And then if I put this here, can I open this? Yeah, so that still works. That looks cute. And then we can hang a lantern there. We can put some hay bales in different layouts right there. some hay bales here as well i think that's super cute i really like the idea of having this be like largely just like yellows i think that looks super pretty just because then it's like very much so the decorative bits of what it is for you know our yellow hay straw cows you know like we're gonna be doing a lot of that just using up a bunch of hay using up a bunch of just all sorts of things so i thought it would be very fitting and then we can put those there that sideways and then we can have actually a lantern be there so let's just get rid of this and then i also like the idea of having like barrels so maybe we make some more of these. And barrel. It's literally just, okay, so the planks and then slabs. So we can go like so, like so, like so. And then we'll add those in here. And they can kind of be some like oh we'll put some chests down first so we've got chests we can have barrels we can swap it oh those won't open anymore i take it back i take it back and then we can do some up here so now it opens up just fine so we can do some barrels some hay and then we can have like a, pool, a little pot be up here, like so, all cute. We can come with one of these. Oh, I don't think I can like place things on these, I forget about that. And then we can have some hay right here, potted plant. Let's get some other trap doors. So maybe we make some just regular spruce ones. And then we go like so. So we can have hay. We'll do some hay. We can do a pot. And maybe we do a lantern just to have some more light in here. And then we can just have some green coming down from the roof. That always helps with, you know, the vibes of things. Oh, I don't want that one there. Okay. And I don't really want to have a bed in here, I don't think, because there's not a lot of space, right? But I think just like a little something like that just makes it look really cute. I really like that. 
And we do have a lot more barrels that we can add, so maybe we add some here too. Didn't really like add any before, like right here. So maybe we just do that. I like it. And then we'll add some green in here as well. So I think having greenery just adds so much. I'm always gonna say that. <laughs> that's that's my thing. When in doubt, green it out. That is my my statement. I said it on a live stream once and literally it's still so true. When in doubt, green it out. Like, you wanna make your place look better? Add some green. It'll always look great. Okay, cool. So now it is dark out. I know that because I can see through here and I'm gonna quick sleep in the floor here. But honestly, I feel like we're just gonna add some moss carpet and then the flooring will be good. But I almost don't want to cover up this nails in the floors type of a look. But I do know that I I really, uh, I need to have some, some more cows found. But I think while we're waiting, so we're going to go looking for the cows last. So we've got the floors decorated. I think the last thing to do is just kind of make a little, like, entranceway here. I think that's the last piece that I really feel like we're missing that I want to add. So we're just going to work on using some spruce. Since the front is kind of just all the granite with the brick, I'm just going to add some spruce to texture it. So we'll get some slabs, we'll get some trap doors, and then I think that should be good for it. We might get some fence posts, but I think the trap doors and everything should really do it. But let's uh, put some of these supplies back that we won't need right now. And we're going to make more slabs. So more slabs. And then we'll just make more trap doors. I think I do want to make some fence posts. Oh, we had some in there. Okay, I forgot. And the twigs will turn into sticks so that we can... I love how this just stays. This is making it so much easier for me, my goodness. Big fan of that. Okay, so now, the next thing I want to do is kind of just create, like, a little bit of some, like, shelves. Some, like, nice little entryway space. So then we can go like so, add some right there. I don't know if you, uh, heard that very loud noise out in my house. Um, there was like a plane flying very low and being extra noisy. And I was like, excuse me, I'm trying to record some good vibes here. Um, not helpful. <laughs> okay, and then we'll take these off. Go like so, like so. I think nine should be good. But uh, I paused real quick because I was like, um, this is a little much. Also, I can definitely just let these sheep wander now. You guys are free. I no longer require your services at the moment. I will definitely come back and find you when I'm ready to make a sheep pen. But for now, all I really need is a cow. That is my main thing. I want a little cow. That is my one desire. <laughs> Bye guys. Oh, you wanted to stay and hang out? I, I would like that. That's kind of fun. Okay, so next what we're going to do is... Go like so... Oops, we go like so. Get rid of that one. So we've got kind of this little awning here. And then what I'm going to do is... Sometimes I almost think I'm in creative mode. And I can just like double tap my space bar. And I'll just like go into the air. Not the case. We are in survival. That is not how this works. <laughs> we have to build everything by hand. It is not that easy. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, but let's see. Let's go here for one of them. This is this would be one of them, but we've got our guy there, so we're gonna go like that, like so. Same here with that, and we're gonna put some of these on top. 
Oh, I forgot. I have to deal with this. Okay. Go. And then we get rid of this. And then we get rid of that. We can do this. Okay, so then we've kind of got this little awning, just like this. And I can't put any trap doors here, right? So that's the, the one thing. But I can go like so. And then I kind of go up a little bit more. And maybe I need to go on forward for this to work. There we go. Okay, so now... We've kind of got a little, little outline of things. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like this. So let's try coming down here. And jump on that one. That actually worked a lot better than I thought it would, not gonna lie. So I'll take it. But yeah, just like a little awning, you know? Then we can uh, place some pots and some nice little decorations. So I think I'm going to put some of these hay bales out here too, just because it kind of does like remind me of like, hey, like this is where all of our hay bales come from. Literally, hey, <laughs> this is where our hay comes from. <laughs> uh, someone stop me. Sometimes you just start saying things, you know, all the puns. I do love puns, so honestly, you could try to stop me with the puns and I'd probably just keep doing the puns. You know, this is just kind of fun. The puns are fun to me. And then I need a slab here. Because otherwise, I can't do that. Now, I think I'm going to go like that. Honestly, I'm going to be this person. Sue me. Just putting a little hole in the middle there. <laughs> But I think that'll look nice. It looks more like there's some hay that's actually like inside this, you know? And I think what I might do is like, we're gonna make this path and I might just like dot along the sides some of the hay stacks, the hay bales. I think that will be really nice. But I'm gonna grab some clay that is now dried. So we can have our pots, beautiful. Ooh, we're getting some good, uh, good level ups with this okay now i'm gonna take two or three of these pots and the rest we're just gonna make into normal pots and we might as well collect that for extra xp i love that we're getting so much more now it just feels good to have a lot more. And like, even if we get fortune, like having fortune is going to be super helpful. I'm just super excited for that. Okay. So I wanted to have some of these pots in the front entryway too. Not this one. I want that pot. There we go. And then we'll put these little ones. Right here. Right here. Look at that. I actually love these ones. Which ones are these? The azures? They're so pretty. So cute. I love how, like, full they are. It's like a full flower. Gorgeous, I tell ya. Alright. And then we've got all of our shelves here. But I wanted to maybe add one of these up here. Could be kind of fun. What if I just... Yeah, I like that. Oh, and then let's put a white one in here. There we go. Look how cute this is. Our little hay storage. And then, see, this is what it's going to do. So, once we get a second cow, we're going to breed these up. And unfortunately, they're going to end at T-Cram. But it will provide us with leather. And it will provide us with steak. And then, we're going to move a smoker into here. I'll probably put one, like, right here. And maybe right here. Then we can smoke up the meat. And then, with the leather, we can make more books and different things. And then, with all of our hay fields we're going to make here, that's where we're going to be able to just add in all of the hay into our little windmill and then feed it to the cows to continuously get more steak and leather. So that's like my favorite type of like farm to build when I'm trying to get lots of leather. So that is a very exciting one for me. 
one of my faves. So we're just going to start putting things away for now because I need to start kind of clearing out my inventory and moving all of these different things around just so that I can get some space to start, you know, filling in the flooring at this point. So for now, we're just going to move these things. Let's move this into here with all of the drops. And we've got some stones. We've got calcite. Oh, hello. Um, I don't know how I got a bee stinger, but that's definitely more of like a drop. So I'm going to place that there. We've got our greens, so we're going to move that there. I think I put dirt in yeah i put dirt in with this so we're gonna do the same and then uh, let's put our carpets in with drops i feel like that makes sense and then the xp orb will go downstairs with me and we'll put that in here i am genuinely curious like what is what do i use those xp orbs for it's very interesting to me Oh, and we need to use bricks to replace some of this so it looks better. So we're going to take this with us. We're going to take this with us. And we're going to take this crafting table. Now, I'm going to probably add like a trim or something around here. I wanted to use more of the Sakura wood, but I'm out of it. So maybe what we do is for now, we just put these away. Um, actually, we're going to leave all the, the, like, plants. We'll just put these away. I thought I just saw a zombie, and I was like, um, not what I wanted. Okay, so I'm just trying to move all of my little chests over so that we have space and we can start working on creating all of the fields and let's do this barrels go there hoppers will go there as well the boat will go there and then i think because i don't have a lot of carrots we're just gonna leave those there for now um bamboo is gonna be like a fuel source for now so we'll leave that there and then this is an extra bed so i like to have those on hand and then let's uh let's get this also stacked up. We'll grab some bricks. Go like so and like so. Yay, we finally have more bricks. Oh, that feels so good. I've been missing out on a lot of bricks and materials, so that's really nice to just have. Twigs become sticks. Bamboo is a fuel source, so we'll put that there. And then the leaves we'll put in here. The moss we'll leave in there for now. See, the vines are even changing color and the oak leaves are changing color. It were definitely in different seasons, which is super interesting to like kind of take a note of. All right, well, we've got a lot of spruce and different materials for it later, which is great. Calcite, we've got the stones here. We've got our modded. And I think I'm also going to put my modded little bench there because we have a crafting table already. And we're going to do some sleeping. All right, and next what we need to do is we're going to make a water bucket and an iron hoe. So I did not do that. Actually, we should probably make two, not going to lie. I feel like even though I would like it to stick, I don't think it's going to. So let's make two. And then I forgot that they required two. I don't know why I was trying to make me a shovel. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, but we've got a bucket. We've got all of these. And honestly, I think what I'm going to do is I'm also going to use some of these slabs. And then we're going to use some lanterns on the ground to just cover them in, right? 
And what I also need is probably a lot more dirt. Honestly, I feel like dirt. Ironically, I'm needing more dirt than anything. Did I just do a quest thing? I feel like that's the only reason the thing's like ding. But let's get some more dirt. And the crop fields are pretty much the last thing, minus that cow. So I have the one cow on my mini map, but I need to go exploring for another cow. And luckily we've got a lead so I can pull it along and bring some hay so that it follows me. Maybe we'll find two, who knows. But once we get these crop fields and just like the seeds placed, um, we'll be good to go, which I also don't know if the seeds are going to grow because we're in autumn apparently. Which that'll be an interesting thing. I'm like making these fields so that I can have wheat easily accessed and maybe I won't even be able to have wheat, you know? Like I really don't know. <laughs> Not exactly what I was imagining, but like it's very real. Okay, so let's just start over here. Let's do one right here, like so. We just start filling this in up to these edges. And then we can move this flower over here. Let's go grab more water and grab us some seeds. And I need food, so let's eat some foods really quickly. Grab all the seeds that we have. My shovel's about to break, it's good to keep in mind. And I think we're just gonna... Oh, we got the advancement to seedy place, how exciting. The seeds also look very different in this uh, mod pack, but I think for, at least for so these seeds, they grow normally in this season. Okay, so fall is 100%, winter they don't grow, summer and fall is when they grow, so we're about to go into winter. I actually should figure out like how long seasons last, like I don't even know that, I haven't even like thought about we're gonna do but what i was thinking is we'll probably just do some of these uh like fields around the sides here and not do like too much more than that so i think i just want to like have them kind of like slowly gradually come down the sides and then we'll make our paths around it So we can go like so. And I already don't have like a lot of seeds left. But in my mind, I feel like just even having like a little bit is better than nothing for just having our cows even. So I'm happy about that. But we're gonna place one here as well. And I do have a bunch of potatoes, so we can do potatoes too, which is kind of fun. And I think I had the whole stack. Okay, 37. Not a whole stack, but you know, it's something. It is something. I need to get rid of that one too. But we can have some potatoes peel for here. And then we'll kind of like bring that over here. Oh, no, don't eat the potatoes, Red. I know you might be hungry. Just like talking to myself. Don't eat the food. Okay, now I'm full. I'm not gonna eat my seeds that I'm trying to plant. My potatoes just getting eaten instead of planted. Oh, okay. So that is the end of the potatoes. And I think that's good. Now... I want this to kind of 
my poor little shovel's on its last leg. I sorry. Okay, but now when we look at it, now it's got some crop fields around it and that's looking so much better already. I love it. Now we just need to move all these guys out of the way. And honestly, I might just like add some of these wheat seeds along the edge just to expand this out a little bit, make it look more full. But let's, uh, let's try to take all of these with me. This has nothing in it. We'll take this. I don't really think there's a specific tool that takes this faster. It's also interesting, the different, like, particles that you see, you know? I always think that's interesting. Now we'll move this. And we'll connect up this path later on. Like, I'm not- I don't fully have paths even from my main house. Because I think I'm still figuring out exactly where I'm gonna place what we've got going on with our our waystone like i still don't exactly know what we're doing there you know so we've got to figure that out but let's place that back down and then chests can go there bamboo we'll use as a fuel source everything else goes upstairs but i feel like slowly but surely you know everything is coming together it, it takes time but I'm happy with the progress that we're making, you know? I think it's it's really fun just to kind of see how over time everything kind of changes. We're going to go put the brick in place. And we're going to uh, probably mix in around the edge the stairs as well. So we were working on that too. And so put that there. And that there. Okay, now let's go back down and make some stairs. And the other thing I did want to do that I didn't think about till just now is with the extra wood that I have for the Sakura, I did want to make more um, fences. Because I wanted to... Uh, add some decor on the sides so we're gonna do that really quickly on the sides like the exterior sides so we got that we got that okay so that should be good for what we're gonna be quickly adding so we'll add these first i think this is looking so nice so then from further away that's what we have for our two builds so far. It's going to look much better once we actually get, like, pads in place and things like that. But it's it's a start, you know? We're starting somewhere. I'm really liking how it's turning out. And honestly, just having, like, the little seeds along the edges just makes it so much cuter. I love that so, so much. But this is what I wanted to add. is just these little bits. Just to make it look prettier on the front, especially. That's what I was thinking we should add. And I know I don't have enough. But we're just going to put those there. And then the part that I need to like actually fix up was adding in more of our brick into here. Because that I think looks really pretty. And I didn't really have a whole lot of brick before, so we're adding it now. Except I'm not able to pick it all up, so that's super fun. Oh no, hey, um, can you not do that fence? That's not really helpful. There we go, we got it. And then with this top bit, we are going to have that also be a little bit different because we're going to add in our little uh, stairs to make it look better. So it will change. It will look better. I promise. But we got to add our texture in. So that just makes everything look better. Okay. So the texture is in. I also feel like having lights on the outside would be really good. 
Um, I don't think I left my bed yet. Let's just take what we have here really quick. And we're gonna go sleep. I'm really excited to see how this is like turning out. Like it's just a nice little windmill, so, so cute. And as we get more seeds, like as that gets kind of fleshed out more, it's gonna look even better. I'm very excited to see how it kind of progresses. And we'll put that there. Everything else can go upstairs. Oh, come on, there we go. And I do like pillaring with dirt for this, so I'm gonna take some dirt back. And then I am gonna take some of these with me just to kind of like bring them along Wait for like path design and everything, but we can put those in there for now. That can go there. For other just random blocks, I think I'm gonna start keeping them in this one. Then for modded tree types, we'll put that there. And now we're gonna pillar up to finish. Oh, I didn't sleep. Kind of important. Need to do that too, too. I like that we made a calendar today so we can like tell what season it is. I think that's super fun. Having like a calendar in Minecraft Reminds me of Stardew Valley, like, so, so much, and it's really fun. I like it. You know, you can only grow certain crops certain times of the year, that kind of a thing. And it's cool. I think that's super fun. Now, let's do this. Now, if I just place this here. Place one there. Even that just looks cute, right? Already so much better. Okay, now, now we look, yeah. Also, we move these because I need, I need. So this is the part. That we weren't totally done with or sure on. Oops. There we go, and this is done all the way around the edge. Now I have bricks, so what I think I'm gonna do is kind of like sprinkle these in. I don't like how this sometimes doesn't work well together. There we go, okay. Because I have a bunch of the bricks and I think what I'm gonna do is kind of dot those over here and swap them out. Just so it kind of like looks good. That there's like other textures, you know? And then move some of these over to here. Then we can kind of mix and match them in and it'll look really cool. Because this is a little too much of the cobbles type, but I like it though. It's cute. It looks nice. And we'll do a regular guy there. And then the other side, we can have more. Because now when I look at this, like, even just that wrapping around, it looks way better. Now, the next thing that I probably will do is uh, sprinkle in some of those textures into this. I feel like that will look really nice. But let's go around over here first. And get some of those in here. Like so. And I feel like this is good. I'm content with that. Now I just have to fix that light that broke on the inside, but I feel like that's good. And pick up any slabs that fell. 
but now it's like way more textured on the bottom it's just super plain up here so we need to work on that a little bit all right and then we've got shears so now we just put that there and put that there and everything is fixed <gasps> yay oh this place looks so cozy i really like it all right so We've got some final things to do that I just realized. I said I was gonna like put some little uh, little slabs there and I didn't. So we're gonna grab those, but we're gonna grab our slabs from inside because I'm also gonna grab some leaves and just kind of like hang them. I also feel like I wanna grab some glowberries. I feel like glowberries would look good, but I haven't found any yet. So that's still one of the things to be determined. I still can't believe we found eye armor trims today like that's kind of cool but kind of wild and this should be enough but we'll uh we'll make a few more just in the off chance it's not but that should be good now and then i wanted to grab some green leaves so we'll just grab a little bit of that i don't want to use the vines because i don't like how they change honestly it's kind of a little bit too much for me um, but I use a lot of bricks and granites, so we're going to mix those in here. But otherwise, I think this is looking really nice. Very exciting. I also am able to, like, get some carpet from this moss, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. So we're just going to leave that alone. And I think that's the only thing I really want to, like, add. Um, oh, I did want to add some... Let me see... Oh, I already had a hay bale. Okay. We need the cow. So we're going looking for the cow. Then we're adding, we're looking for the leaves. And then we're going to add lanterns to the outside just to make it look better. And uh, I think we're going to just call it there. We still need this water bucket to finish the farm fully. But I need, I first need the, uh, I need the little dudes before I can actually put the, the water in. So we're going to eat some food. And honestly, I say because I'm not sure how long it's going to take us to find a little Kind of surprised I'm not seeing any on the mini-map, honestly. Little concerning to just see ducks around. <laughs> Every time I look at the mini-map, I see a, a cow on the, the mini-map, and that's my cow that I already have. Like, I don't need to find him. I need new cow friends. I probably shouldn't have killed the cows. You know, hindsight 2020. There were some other cows around my area, but I was desperately needing food. So that's what I get now. I, I can't complete my farm. Oh, hello. Oh, let's probably just... Okay, I'm looking if there's any... Any cows. Man, I'm not really seeing any cows. This is kind of nuts. Any cows over here? I'm also curious if anything's gonna spawn. Ooh, look at this tree. <gasps> That's kind of a fun custom tree that they add into the biomes. Lava. If I need lava, we've got some lava. Hmm. <laughs> a lone foxy friend just spawned. Nice. Hmm. Maybe we go through the rest of the Sakura forest on the other side and see if we can find any. We'll just go this way. See if we find any luck. <gasps> oh, we're the little boars. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm seeing like bunnies on the maps, like all these other things. <gasps> Also, look at our area from farther away. 
our nice little grove. That's so pretty. I love it. That's so fun. But That animals are harder to find, but I just always assume there's cows around, right? Like, I don't ever think I'm gonna run out of cows. That's, I think, the piece. Oh, look, an ant just popped out of her little ant hill. It's cute. Hello, buddy. Hello. Hi. How are you today? You doing good? Oh, yep, you're doing good. Glad to hear it. Hello, little deer. I don't mean to scare you. Have you seen... Some cows. Anywhere at all. <laughs> I should probably have brought my bed. It's it's fine. We'll we'll just run. Oh, oh, I see a cow on the map. How far away is it? Decently far it seems. But I see a cow. I should have brought the leads. Why didn't I bring the leads? It's okay. I found the cow slip. Moo moos. Moo moos? Moo cows. Yeah, moo moo. Come here. Follow me. Follow me into the great unknown. Oh my gosh, please be offhand. Offhand, Red. Keep it in your offhand so you stay safe. We'll just add some lights as we go. Oh, I have to go around a giant. Please don't do this to me. Look, I'm already getting chased. Not what I wanted. <laughs> These uh, little dudes are gonna follow me all the way back home. Cow, I need you. Come on, cow. Come on, cow. Cow, you're not helping me. You goon. I'm fighting off the world for you. I just need you to follow me. They probably know I'm gonna take them and, like, cram them into a box. Let's be real. They they probably can take a wild guess at that, you know? They, they can be smart. Come along, buddy. Mm, we're gonna go this way. Cow, please. I see spiders. I just don't want to see skeletons. Ooh, ominous. I feel like when I take that on, I'm probably just gonna, like, come at it from the roof. And try to just, like, open it up so there's enough sunlight. So all of the skeletons in there, at least, and zombies will, like, burn. That's kind of, the like, the strategy I'm thinking. Because I'll just, like, walk past that and just, like, start thinking about... How I'm not exactly sure how to deal with such a very intimidating thing. And that's the strategy I've thought of. Just pillar up really, really high and do it that way. The moon is really bright. Even though it's like just a crescent moon, it's still cow. The zombie's going faster than you and there's multiple cow. I swear. I sh swear. Oh, this deer. Okay cow and there's a witch cow come here goodness gracious just waiting for a baby zombie but i have my pillaring blocks so i'm ready for that if it comes to that i'm ready i'm literally bringing the cow inside my house come on I'm glad we found the cow. Honestly, we found cows quicker than I thought we would. So I'll take it. Cow, I swears. Moo cow, come on. I just don't want to hit the cow. That's what I'm afraid of. Moo cow, come on. Come on, moo. Moo moo. Moo moo. Come on. Moo bow. Moo cow, come on. Stay away. 
This is my cow. All right, inside the house. Do you see me? Can you make it through? Seriously? Okay, come in. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you stay here. I'm gonna sleep, okay? Welcome to my home. Uh, you're only here temporarily. <laughs> then we're moving you. Okay, all right. Ay, ay, ay. All right, you... Oh. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna... We'll just take a peek outside really quickly. Where's the scary dudes? Oh, just chilling right there, I see. Yep. Hello? Hi, buddy. How are you? Um, you're not allowed to stay here. Sorry, though. Yeah. Okay, cow. Um, I know my kitchen is cool and all, but I need you to come this way. Thank you very much. All the way out. Yes, yes. Who did it? Good job. Okay, this way. Oh, it's so cute! Look at all of the little hay. Oh, this, oh, I love it. I'm obsessed. So cute. I also kind of realized after that skeleton was kind of just like coming at me from a puddle that I should probably clean up some of these uh, puddles just so that I don't have them creating an easy spot for just mobs to sit, you know? I'm gonna pick this up. You can follow me, right, cow? But I don't- I just don't want the- the mobs, like, the zombies and the skeletons just sit in, like, jacuzzi puddles, right? While they wait for me to get closer. That's, like, the last thing I want. Okay, okay, come here, my friend. All the way up, yes, yes, you're doing so good. I love it, thank you, thank you. And I know I have to take this down again, so we'll do that. Coming all the way inside. Okay, now this will be tricky. Because I think... I have to break into my walls again. Oh, actually. Oh, hang on. So here's a trick, guys. So when you have two cows, if I right-click on this one and I right-click on this one, they want to breed. And then they go down over each other like that. Now, the next thing I need to do is I want to make quickly that fence post. And we're going to go get the water next. So, we're gonna do the fence post thing. So, let me just get some of these in place. And move those over. So now, the fence post goes there. Like so. Our floor goes there. Now we've got a baby cow. And then, that's our floor. Now, we get water, and the farm's complete. And now we just have to keep breeding them up with the hay. Ready? Because now they kind of float at the top. And then as I breed them, they will give us even more cows. And then eventually they'll end it cram. But for now, we're just going to leave all of the hay bits in here and call it good. Next thing I want to do is quickly add some lights onto the outside of here. And I think we can just do some pillaring up like so. And like that. I don't have a, a shovel anymore, but that's okay. But I'm actually super happy that we found the cow a lot quicker. Because now like, I actually feel like the farm is like legit complete. And we have the leaves to still put in as well. And these guys. Oh, those ones don't need it. Just some of them needed it. Okay, that's what it was. I was like, not all of these needed those little fillers. Only these side ones, I bet, were the, the culprits. Yeah, because this is where I changed the most. The sides. So then add that one and that one. And then there and there. Perfect. Perfect. 
okay and then we'll add some green on, on this side and then i think that's all i want for like the greenery we'll then kind of connect it on top of the roof and then we'll call it good Okay, but now if we take a look, look at that, it's so cute. And then we're gonna add some greenery, kind of like snaking up it because the green will always make it look really good. But I think that's so nice. And then like with all of the wheat growing up, it's so pretty. I'm like literally loving this. So great. And now let's uh let's make the greenery from this side meet up. Okay. Then on the roof, we'll just kind of dot some around. And I was going to make the jump, but I feel like that would not end well if I tried to do that. And then... Let's go like so. Just a little bit of green. I'm gonna grab my shears. Jumping over here, jumping up to this side. We only have five left, so it's not like there's like a lot of greenery to go with but we'll just kind of snake up what we have and then i think with these last three i honestly want to just on the other side kind of how i put some down by the the concrete the the granites i want to do the same thing do you think we can make it alley -oop. i'm getting better at that i I'll, I'll give myself credit for that we're getting better at it but i'm just gonna like add some down here on this side too And then we'll add those, and I think we'll be good. And what's nice is we can put these, <gasps> whoa! No way, they have like a little side guy? <gasps> That's so cool! Oh my gosh, I didn't know that was a thing! I'm learning all sorts of things in modded, my gosh. So pretty. Okay. Now, this isn't gonna be a whole lot, but it's something. And I think it makes it look better. Alright, now we're gonna sleep. And we're calling that good. I might actually put a light behind the uh the windmill just so that no no scary guys you know kind of come at me it's not what i want so just like right there just kind of like a sneaky little guy okay Alright, and one final snooze. What is really nice is like, 
We just planted a bunch of wheat. We really need all of our fields to grow and now it's raining. So all of the rain is just gonna help all of our fields grow even more. And honestly, this just looks so pretty. Like we're gonna expand the fields obviously, but I don't need like a whole lot to start out. So just for a starter kind of uh, starter, starter crop fields, I think this is beautiful. And look at our little backpack. So cute. Love that for us. But I think this is just so cool. I think it's super fun playing in modded. I'm having a great time. But let's uh, let's take a snooze. And then see where things are at in the morning. I think the morning light is kind of where I want to get a nice little view of our windmill that we've got. So let's go out and see what it looks like. I love the like how the world just gets so much quieter as the rain just like goes away but there we go guys we've got a rainbow over our birch forest and we've got our nice little windmill all done i think this is beautiful i'm really happy with it and we've got a cow crusher inside there so we can get solid food source we're able to get all of our leather we can get steak We've got all the goods, we've got all of the hay for the cows, we've got some potatoes growing too, and we just made this super cozy place, lots of yellows because it's mostly just going to be hay storage, our cow crusher little food source is right tucked into the corner for it, love that, and then we've got a little extra storage room in here. And it's beautiful. I, I really like how this turns out. I love how you can have the modded floors look so different. But that is going to do it for this long play today. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, adventuring. We found so many cool little villages and I'm really excited to explore more of them. We also found the waystone, which we definitely have to make something cute besides just a, a slab of stone to have it on, but that will be something for a future episode. But if you enjoyed our little adventure, long play, and hanging out with me, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a wonderful day.